constitutional right of, to abortion is no longer exist. So it's now up to the states to decide whether they want to um, have that banned still or have a banned or no banned. Um, we live in the state of Indiana, which is a red state. Which it's a red probably state. Probably is going to vote again. There's about, I want to say, 13 to 20 states who already had like the, the target, the um, that uh, trigger. So like once they went into effect, they got about I think like 30 days, and they're going to have a law already, a bill already passed, saying Sheesh. that abortion is banned in those states. You know, Texas is one. The Mississippi's another one. Alabama. Uh, it's mostly red states. Yeah. yeah. So if you live in a red state, like those mostly. Where abortion will be banned at. And it'll still be illegal to travel to a different state and have an abortion done, right? No. No. That's you not, can do that. You can do that. Okay. Uh, I, heard, I thought I heard something about, like, yeah, if you come, like, if they know you're pregnant and you come back without, when you lost the baby to the state, you could probably still get uh, prosecuted for it. I mean, just. I don't think they would know you're, I mean, unless you, like, went to a doctor before. Mm-hmm. And they have it on your record, and yeah. You know. I guess I don't know. But even then, that's like a lot to try to pro- prosecute somebody for mm-hmm. going to a different state. They could have just been over. Legal, I ain't right? gonna say could have just been on vacation, but you know, could have visited family members. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, this it just sucks because like it's a heavy topic. Man. It is, and I just don't understand the point of this because like, there's so many other things we can worry about, and y'all <laughs> need just focused on. I just don't see how this change. became the forefront of everything. <laughs> yeah, like out of everything in the world, we, we're going backwards. It's it kind of blew my mind, you know, and it really, it really, it's kind of terrifying. It, it actually, it, it, I woke up late that day. I, I was didn't like, think well, we could go back. And I, I woke undo up undo like, this type of stuff. I woke up at like one o'clock that day, and everybody was like freaking out. I was like, "Yo, what the fuck going on?" And I, I got on Twitter. I was like, "All right, this is some bullshit." Like, yeah, like what do yeah. you mean? Like, you just overturned this shit? Like, yeah, nah, we don't. And it really pissed me off that our our government is really focused on the wrong things. Like, not even a couple of weeks ago, we just had like a whole classroom of children get massacred, and all of a sudden, you know, the, yeah, the debate on that we just all disappeared. And now, like, the focus is on like, we're just doing all the wrong things. Yeah. I just really feel like the, the 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 what the people need to have be resolved in the nation is is, is we're just not being heard, we're being ignored, or they just don't take us seriously, or something. Like, it's it's weird that you saw like this as an issue that you want to overturn. That was never a problem in the first place. But for some reason, I, I, I don't know. I, this is why I need to do more research on the on, on how this got reversed. Because to me, it's like, are we, is it because we're a mostly religious country? Is it because of Christianity reasons? I don't think that's. I don't. I, I've, heard, I, I, I've heard. So I've heard a couple like different like theories out there that have been floating around mm-hmm. of how like white white people are losing their majority in the, in the United States. I've heard yeah. that one. And that's what I've heard they want to keep that. So way, way to keep that is you can't get an abortion no more. Yeah, because I. I I think a majority of people who get abortions are uh, like white, white people, white women. white women. So it's just a way to keep because they're they're becoming they're, they're dwindling. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. we're starting to intermingle a little bit more. So I, that's what I've heard. They it's don't want to lose their population. Uh, I can read this article. Uh, writing for the court majority, Justice Samuel Alito. I don't know his last name. Sorry, said this 1973 ruling of Roe v. Wade. And uh, subsequent high court decisions reaffirming reaffirming this must be overruled because they were egregiously wrong. The arguments are weak and so damaging that they amount to abuse of judicial authority. So he's basically saying like everything they said back in uh, in seventy three when they made this law it was just it was wrong in the beginning. So they should that's why they re, that's why they overturned it. overturned it. And I just don't understand like it's just so right. it's like why do you care so much? Yeah, yeah. that's like, that's what's weird. Like there has to be an agenda. Like, That's, yeah, that, that it's all about control. It definitely is. It has, mm-hmm. Yeah, at this yeah. point, it's about control. Because what, like, if that's the case, and like, I saw somebody, uh, this Democrat from Oklahoma, he uh, had a bill. It's never gonna get passed, but it was, it's like for a joke. He was like, "Well, then all guys once they hit puberty must get a, must get a vasectomy, and then like, it can be overturned once they're uh, once they're uh, legally age and financial financial um, like you know like they stable have, yeah, stable. Yeah, mm-hmm. then they can be re- then it can be reversed." Cause like if we're gonna police women's bodies, why can't we police guys' bodies too? Yeah. Like I don't, and I just don't understand like why they care so yeah. much about like what people are doing with these with their bodies. And you, you don't have you. Don't, oh, I've been saying fuck them kids for the longest time. <laughs> like if you don't have a baby, you don't have a baby. Like. Yeah. And there's certain things that happen that like we're like if you got raped or something like that, like now you're gonna force me to have this baby. Yeah. I mean, not only not only just that, I mean, there's some people who, I mean, people people, <clears throat> the world knows people have sex. And, you know, things happen, and, and there's still the the chance that. Um, you or the person that you're with uh, may end up being pregnant. 
Now, are you prepared for that pregnancy? Are you prepared to have a kid? Because that's a lifetime commitment. Your life suddenly alters. So having this kid can not only put you like a lot of health, personal strain, but also put you in a lot of uh, um, mental and financial strain as well. So for, for some people, if they're forced to have this baby and all of a sudden everything for life for them is kind of thrown out the window because now they have something that's new of importance. And because now it is it is your job legally and you know ethically to be a parent to this child. And for me, for me, it's kind of like, dude, if I have no other option or or she has no other option but to have this baby and we can't do anything about it, that sucks. You know what I mean? Thing, like, this isn't going to stop abortions. It's going to stop safe abortions. Yeah, I agree. Right? They're going to they're gonna find ways to get abortions still. It's not going to be safe and yeah. it's going to be terrible. Do you think this, I mean, is, what do you think about um, the responsibility to not get pregnant as much, if that makes sense? I mean, like we we all know, like there's no 100 percent way to not get pregnant besides yeah. not having sex. Yeah, so that's like, literally the only way. And people definitely about going to still be having sex. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can say somebody, oh, wear a condom or do this, and even like I, I, I think, see, I seen things like I don't well, think people will use condoms as much anyway. Well, I like so. I seen things where like they're trying to like uh, start the ban on uh, like. Contraceptives, like contraceptives, contraceptives yeah. and man, like I heard, like Plan B, might Plan go B out pills, the yeah, that shit's crazy. It sounds like they just want more babies. I mean, babies. All crazy. Just more, more babies, which is I don't get just that. Confusing. What is what is going to happen in the long term if that were to pass? What do they want? Because all it's going to do is you ain't got formula on the shelf. How the fuck we can have babies? Yeah. Literally, <laughs> there's no ba- there's been, there's a baby food shortage, and then you know it's crazier. Um, a lot of baby food, like the reason that there is a baby food shortage is because there was like. Like hazardous shit in the baby food. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it got recalled. Yeah. Wow. And so, it's, it, which again, it's crazy to me that we want to protect. Uh, I don't know what. I don't think. We I guess <laughs> what is what is what is what is the what is the the uh, the pre development before the fetus, the embryo. The embryo. Mm-hmm. So it's like you want to protect the embryo before it's even formed into a fetus, but we can't <clears throat> protect these kids in the classroom, which is <clears throat> for me is always a backward. That's a, this is a backwards ass way of thinking. You know what I mean? Like we're really focused on the wrong stuff. And what's long term if this passes, like we, we live in a society where we can't we can't buy houses to travel is too much. There's a food there's a war going on. So like as far as imports and exports of foods to feed yourself, it's already hard to be a single individual person. Yeah. Jobs don't pay that much in the first place. And if they are, it just the, 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 the rate and pay is only enough to meet the rising cost to live. And if so, if you that. start making people, or not making people, if you don't, if you don't give people an option to it, not have this baby, that just throws everybody into poverty, essentially. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't even see how you. And that you, might that, and that that could possibly be the goal, like uh, like creating a, a more more people that can work under the, you know, the higher These corporations class. and yeah. live in an apartment complex for the rest of their lives and die miserable. Like, I, don't even, I don't even see how you can like ban shit like that. I don't see how you can like force me to do this. Like, That's have insane. a baby. Like, you have to have this baby now. Like, now what happens when all these babies are born that no one fucking wants? They go into foster care. Is that what you this want? Is a horrible system. And that's that, a horrible system. But then, like, that's 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 like more more money for like the, the the government spending more money now on foster care. Like, somebody has to pay yep. for that shit. Like, uh, we do. <laughs> well, taxes. Yeah, taxes. Like, yeah, like, we like, do. I don't know, but like, but yeah, I, I, bet, I don't I don't see why. And I, bet, I still don't get it. I bet oh, money. Yeah, what, yeah. If one of these senators or congressmen has a mistress that gets pregnant, they get, they get an abortion. Oh, now, man, sure. comedians have always said, they like, let these white girls get pregnant by a black guy and see how quick that baby gets aborted. I vote those, the comedians have said that. Not for even years. that. Like, just uh, someone high in power has a, has a mistress. And they, they didn't yeah. get it. They weren't I mean, supposed yeah, to have. They, they, have. they proved it. They don't get COVID. They, like yeah. when they were all like all the 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 elite the elite class was like going without masks and shit. Like mm. peak pandemic. Like you don't have to wear it here. You know. Like people was just showing. You know. Yeah. It, it, they they don't they create the rules and then do not abide by them at all. Oh, yeah. oh. These aren't for us. Yeah, it's for you, for y'all, the peasants. Exactly. No, it's it's, it's it's gonna very be very unfortunate. I mean, it's just crazy to me that uh, somebody posted on Twitter like, "Man, Plan B sale better go up." Man, <laughs> I'm stocking up on it. Stuff I'm saying, I'm gonna get me a couple. You know what I mean? It's just insane to me. I'm not buying a Plan B. But what else did they say that uh, the uh, Clarence Thomas guy he wanted to uh, uh, Clarence Thomas wanted reverse to, a few other laws, uh, right? It was something to do with, with same sex marriage yeah. and uh, I think contraceptives, contraceptives and stuff like that. But also like. I don't we're, know. We're, we're doing this. We're looking at the like. Why is it? Why is twenty twenty two has to go out like this? Like we're really focused on the wrong they shit. Call, here. They call Clarence Thomas Uncle Ruckus. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because here's my thing though, right? What if they 
Like when you, when you said, I'm like, well, what if they made guys, you know, have to get vasectomy to 13? What if they made it illegal, like bust a nut entirely? You know what I mean? And what, what, they wouldn't. You can't police that. You can't police that shit. It's, it's, it wouldn't. It's not it's many just, people be on the street. Like homeless <laughs> people be on the street. Oh, yeah. Nah, but I mean, like, I don't understand how, like, how you can police this. I don't see how you can just like force somebody to do this. I don't see how, how you can make this a law. I don't see how you can. Just, Say girls are not in charge of their own bodies. I mean, cause who's because how do you enforce this? Would it be to s- shut down these Planned Parenthood hospitals? That that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's what happens. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I heard. Like, so it just makes it was overturned. They canceled. Like, got, everybody got canceled. People, shit got canceled. Like out, Damn. out the, off the rip. Bro. Like if you had like, appointments, nah, no more. You don't. You get canceled. Yeah, that's a wrap. You got to go uh, blue state. Yeah. And and like some companies that came out and said that they will uh, cover the, cover the travel expenses and cost of all these things, like the exporting goods. Yeah, my yeah. company's pretty cool. I think I think uh, Disney came out and said that too. There's some uh, there's a couple other big companies that came out and said they they will cover these uh, expenses mm-hmm. if yeah. this had, this happened to them. And then the army came out and said that the Pentagon came out and said, uh, uh, "This is not for them. This law, like, if you need help with this, we we will help you guys out." So you're telling me all these billion dollar corporations and the military is is against this law. Yeah, they but they the, the leading law. officials, which is like six nuts. dudes, they, they don't make the laws. Yeah, and the thing is, like in the in the Supreme Court, that's a lifetime. Uh, that's a lifetime uh, um, uh, term. Term, yeah. So, so that, like they're just there. So that was one of the the bits that when I saw Chris Rock, he was talking about it, like with the shootings and everything. Mm-hmm. He's saying like it's not. He's saying it's a terms issue. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it, bro, these old ass fucks are in office. Why are they there forever? <laughs> we, we wouldn't like. How, how come they don't have a like a term like a presidency? Half these people like it, four can't eight drive, years can't drive a car we, no more. We cycle, we cycle them out. Like we can't just have the same people with the same ideals making all those rules. Especially like, old people. I'm sorry, it doesn't like, make any sense. I feel like there needs to be a limit on age because like it has to be some to, type of limit. If bro. you talk to old people all day, like I do, some are really stuck, it's disconnected, and they're yeah. very disconnected. And they are dumb as shit. I'm sorry. Oh, half these people. The we, world we, we is changing like, so drop, fast like, that like your 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 opinions can't, aren't even valid no more. Yeah, you know? like, half these people can't drive a car, but yeah, make laws about the country. Yeah, I feel like it should just be more diverse, like different ages. It has to be different, like ethnicities, different viewpoints. Like we got to have a little bit of everybody in there to make these type of decisions. Yeah. Like they all think the same way. Cause like that's how they grew up though. Like that's that's what they, that's what they're from. Like they grew up. Mm-hmm. And it's just it's sad to see. And they're trying to take it back to, to that, it. which is insane. Like, I don't know what's and Clarence, and Clarence Thomas is wild for, for agreeing with all this shit. Because like, does he know what's next? If he, is all this happens, interracial marriage. Interracial marriage is next. <laughs> like, yo, you got a white. You got a white. Won't, he won't vote for that. Because he he's married to a white person. Shit. <laughs> That's next though, so you better you better watch out. He on the wrong team. They won't make it. They, they <laughs> won't make interracial marriages illegal. If they did, that'd be we're really listening. It's, I mean, what you gonna that's, do? People are already next. married that are like interracial. They what you gonna tell them they got break up? You know, yeah. Yeah. what <laughs> you gonna do about all the people that, that are like all same the, sex all the biracial kids now? Are you just gonna make them illegal? And we'll split them in half. They gotta I, pick not, a house. Not, <laughs> not, <laughs> not, team back. not that. Stand in the middle. I think I think they just like um, they take away the marriage license. I think the marriage license becomes void. So you just two people who live together. He's roommates now. That's insane. That is insane. And, but honestly, have, like, like assets, that together. doesn't even seem that far fetched at this point. Bro, I'm saying honestly, like, if, if, if they could do whatever they want, apparently they can do what like if they come from for same sex marriage too. Like, what's the difference between that? Yeah, sorry, like, y'all can't get married. Why do you give a fuck? Like that, yeah. I just don't understand, don't, bro, bro. Live your life and be happy. Why you do you care so that they're getting though? married? <laughs> this country was supposed to be established upon like. All, you know, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, right? Yeah. How the fuck are you making and banning laws because of religious purposes? That completely defeats what doesn't make any sense. You know, that's just it, it makes it hard to celebrate <laughs> Fourth of July. It does. Yeah, it's fucked up. That's my birthday. Oh, <laughs> are you serious? I know. I, not even Juneteenth. I wish. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Shout out, shout out, yeah. Juneteenth, bro. And they shout just they Juneteenth. really made that a holiday just to have another day off, though. Yeah, they really did. Cause like, <laughs> that's really all it's about. I think only black people should get Juneteenth. I'm being dead. No, like every single year, we're joking, but like dead ass. Yeah, (laughs) this is is for y'all. Like, why do y'all get to go home? (laughs) This is is y'all fault. You know what's crazy? And it's mostly like corporate businesses that get holidays off. You you know what's crazy is that like I fucked up. I requested Juneteenth off, but it was the same day as Father's Day. And so yeah, this that, uh, this that dude, was so this this dude I, was like, man, what does Eli need this day off anyways? I'm like, you don't know what Juneteenth is? I'm like, that's nah, one the day I, off. <laughs> nah, they that have no fast. idea what it is about. No, they no don't. No one does. Except like, <laughs> except like people. Yeah. yeah. Like, I wouldn't even, be here. Even and, and a lot and of it, us don't even really know what it 
it is either. And the thing was like, it's, it all became a, a, became a holiday because uh, the BL, BLM uh, uh, March. That's exactly mm-hmm. right. Like they and they they fraudulent and like, asses. Oh and yeah, like, what's her name? And like that was like here, it's like here, take this, be happy. Yeah, that's, how, that's how that was. Here you go. Here, you, you guys can have this holiday. You have this little June day. Yeah. I mean, for for me, that that does it's speak like, volumes, just because it it it's, 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 it's making the nation recognize. Like, if people have off did work, they though? It, but still though, like if it you are, does affect because because it does. Like, yeah. all right, so for example. What the fuck is labor? What is, what is Labor Day? Like I don't know what fuck Labor Day is. I have no idea. Exactly. I still have to work though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but like things like my, my Memorial know. Day. Memorial Day is for uh for veterans. For veterans, right? So we 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 I thought Veterans Day was for veterans. Is there a Veterans Day? Memorial I believe so. It's yeah. for people who passed, right? Yeah. Uh, like in memoriam of the those who okay. died in service. Yeah. So like over time, like these other smaller holidays, like like Martin Luther King Jr. Day, things like that. So at least these holidays, it makes us recognize the event that led up to us celebrating this occasion same thing with juneteenth and people like let's say the average white family is like okay all of a sudden i have monday off what's what this juneteenth stuff it's it's the uh abol- abolishing ab- abol- abolition abolition of abolition of slavery. like the, the last slaves were freed like yeah. but the thing were, is like, quote, like quote, cool. yeah, after were. a while <laughs> but after a while nobody remembers this shit like we just said we don't know what the hell labor day is for <laughs> for like with the first labor day they're probably, yeah, probably we probably, probably understood shit, yeah, yeah. It's probably like it's for work, people work, working. work laws used to be like terrible. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. that's why you know the re- the reason why they they don't why we only work eight hours instead of like nine or ten because they saw that nine or ten was too much and mm-hmm. eight is like the sweet spot of where you just you can work that and be okay. You can still be productive. Yeah. 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 Interesting. I mean, I still think it's too long. I think that's cap. I think it is too. Bro. I, I give me six. I'm, I'm I'm think, that's, I ain't productive. That's the one. I'm opting in for the six. Bro, I got, I'll give you six bro, hard bro, hours. Bro, bro. My, my <laughs> best. <laughs> but hey, six. Come I'm on. going hard. Nah, man. My so best. Is that seventh one. <sighs> what <Four> day, <laughs> day work weeks too? I need mean, work weeks. Too many work weeks. I only function from noon to four. Like once I like once I wake up and my coffee starts hitting or like after I eat. I don't eat till like three or four o'clock. By the time I'm full, I'm like, yeah, I don't feel like doing shit no more. Like, yeah, after you eat, man, I'm just like, damn, that's kind of hard to work. Back to work, man. But man, this this is just really sad news, man. Honestly, like, I I just don't understand how this happened. I don't either. I, I don't I'm, even know what we're gonna do. I'm trying to. I'm honestly trying to figure out what the motive behind it would be because like, they like they know. we probably we definitely probably would never know. know. Yeah. But like they say, like the evidence wasn't strong enough. But like what the fuck? Like who? Why? Like he went back and was like, hey, you know, a <laughs> yeah, man. Right. I got time out my day. Out of all the problems let's that are going on right now, laws. post-industrialization, motherfuckers ain't got jobs. But let's see what, why, 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 why are we allowing this? Yeah. They were wrong. Matter of fact, we need, let's bring, let's bring back colored weak. water fountains while we're at it. They don't even have public. <laughs> no, 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 there's no public water fountains anymore. You know? They don't have fun. You could probably find them in, in some schools. parks. 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 Yeah. I get but how many parks are there? There's not a lot of fucking parks. <laughs> <laughs> there are like a lot of walk trails and bike trails and no water stations. That's crazy to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta that go is kinda really like nice counterproductive. Yeah. yeah. COVID ruined a lot of things so like wire files too. Like they so some some of them got taken out because of COVID. But also like people don't really upkeep yeah. water fountains like That's true. And plus we got like, a lot of homes. No, but no one did though. They were still drinking out of them. <laughs> the white, the white ones were. They clean. Oh, I mean, like now, like like pro, like pre COVID, like yeah. when you were growing up at your park, you had a water fountain. Mm-hmm. That shit was probably clean, like maybe once a month, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. This shit was going way over the, the fountain yeah. <laughs> <laughs> into the dirt. Or that motherfucker barely came out. <laughs> yeah, or I ain't about to kiss that water. Bro, you know, no, you know what's cool though is that they had a uh, in the in the park in Richmond, man. There's this uh, there's this faucet that runs uh, filtered fresh uh, creek or water, like river water. And that was dope. the freshest, most delicious thing in the world. It was so good. That's, that's dope. dope as hell. That is. So, like, when it's not a fountain, people wanted to put their mouth on it. It was sick, though. Kids would just be put their whole lips on the People water. definitely, they used to do that. Those those making disgusting. out with the water. Those, those are fucking trifling. Like, never mind. You're next. No, I'm good, bro. Thirsty, though. I don't even want no damn it's water, hot, bro. Oh, I'm going to have dry throat, I guess. I'll die. Cotton mouth. I ain't touching that shit. But, uh, but no, I mean, I, I hope. I hope this I hope, isn't like the I hope beginning this is the trend. But yeah, like, I wonder what happens now because like, we got uh, things coming up with like, elections coming up now in November and stuff like that. So I wonder what happens. Yeah, What's this? It's democratic. Use this shit for their political democratic game. Democratic fucking president. I'm a overturn. You know, you don't do shit, bro. That's that's another thing. Yeah, but Democrat as a as a president. You said Democrat. <laughs> Democrat. <laughs> Y'all see him fall off. Yeah, I, I was about to say that. <laughs> yeah, he tried to get off and he failed. <laughs> <laughs> we fall off. He's like, too old, man. Oh, get him out of office, bro. I don't think we need. And he also be president. He also be slurring his words out of nowhere. Speeches. He do. I think tough. he's a robot. He was like, he was like, <laughs> that's my fart. That's like my deep conspiracy tinfoil hat shit. I think he's a robot. Bro. He said, "America was built. America's built on these words." 
I was, I was, I was, I was, <laughs> I was like, bro, what? That is terrible. I was like, what? Nigga had a malfunction in that moment, bro. Bro, for real. This software didn't update. We got way more things to abolish. See, like, bro. the age limit for president, I know he, he, he may be what? 35. 35 years old? Mm, yeah. That should be, a, that should be a, a max, too. Yeah. That should be I'm a max. Like 35 max, you should be like 70. 60. I say, not, I 60. not 70. What's, what's retirement age? 65? 62? 62. I'm gonna say it's about 60, 65. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 65 gotta be, gotta be the cap. I think that gotta should be the cap. And yeah. if even, even. Got 30 like, years. Even if they, you, I think 61 should be the cap. The way at the latest you're 65 if you make it to your you know, your turn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or, or if you're older than that, you gotta prove you can pass all these like this, like uh, like these all these fucking tests. You yeah. gotta be able to get off a bike. Because my, cause, cause my <laughs> thing is like you gotta pass high school equivalent. I mean, just like be able to speak a sentence. I mean, just like the physical oh, you gotta, body, yeah, do something. Yeah, else. just like the physical body, the brain also deteriorates at a certain time of age as well. And so, like, I know mm-hmm. for a fact, I know Come these old ass people. They, they they really ain't sharp like they used to be. Like yeah. you can't teach an old dog new tricks, and so like they just won't get it. And so at that point, I'm like, if once you reach a certain age, I feel like you shouldn't. If we get rid of drive, well, first of all, drive. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, I feel like the two party system has to go. Like I I, I that, think that needs to be something that we need to overturn if we're overturning shit because but we're, never we're literally it. pitting citizens against each other. It's, like, literally, you just gotta pick a side. No matter who is in office, you gotta vote for them. They can't even decide to get rid of the no sense to they me. Both, they're both puppets, so yeah. like it really don't. Yeah, they really don't have don't that much control because they, they can't even like, decide. This whole shit needs to be torn down. Not, like, like this, this law right here was not was not Joe Biden. Yeah, he, he had no, he, had no, he ain't got nothing to do. He with had no say in this shit. I was like, what are we doing? So why are you president? Like, why are you? Like, are they the president? Like, why are you president? What do you do? He's just a figurehead, man. He's the I, one that takes all the hits. I mean, for me, I'm just more sick and tired of like motherfuckers getting up there and just straight up lying on their campaigns. Like, I just, yeah. I'm really, I really this am like, is we're gonna do this, this, we're gonna get rid of this. Like, a lot dude, of times even, they don't realize how much they can't do until they bro, get there. Because what's what really pissed me off is that people really bought into this whole. We're gonna build a wall. We're gonna lock her up. We're gonna do all this nonsense. <laughs> and like, this that was nuts. He bro. raised the money for that shit. Bro, he really was trying to build it. He, like, raised he was win, doing that shit. He abused. They the really shit. started that shit. No. Yeah. They did. They were. They were People doing was that donating shit. money for that shit. And dude went and bought, bought a yacht with it, bro. Like for real, and got arrested on the yacht with the money. Yeah, that had to be the <laughs> in most insane presidency ever, bro. Like he was. That really, was. But it was like it was like a sports team. But let's not argue. That's the most American president, though. But let's not. But let's not forget because it really is trying to like a really gross ass country. Like there, there are better parts of people that live in this nation. Yeah. But like the fact that we were really trying to build a Great Wall of China type wall to get the Mexicans out in like, the twenty first century. And they literally like are the most hardworking people ever, bro. Oh, they're one of the best cultures in the world too. Like, it's they just, are. It's they, ridiculous. It's so fucking racist. Their yeah. values are like family. Like yeah. they're, they like they care for their family over like. Any and yeah. everything. If you yeah. were if you were to put your ten fall hat on JT, I think I think you and I are on to something as far as like this this might be a strategy to control the people. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and go full throttle with it and control it's the people. Control. Keep control. people about control. keep people poor, but also make more dependent people out there. Because when you're dependent, like because it's, it's to the point now, it's like oh, we just keep if the population rises up, there are just more consumers. If there's more consumers, um, people got to work to keep that money. People yeah. got to work to keep that money. They're gonna fill in all the little jobs like. Amazon factories and the the WalMarts and the fucking McDonald's and shit like that and that's just, for me that's what like in my head I'm like well you're just making more people that are gonna live in poverty just to boost up profits for everything else. keep the world running it yeah. is and another layer to that shit is um like food stamps and EBT and shit bro mm-hmm. because you can't um have you can't be in a like you can't have a man in the house when you're like for a woman she can't has a man in the house typically. I don't know if it's it, it probably depends on where you at, but like ex- that's that's like the history of it. Like you couldn't have a man in the house, so it's, it provides incentive to not be in a what? relationship. This that's no, no, no. Look it up. Bro. Some of the, I'm so serious. Some of it's not real. <laughs> I'm so serious. That is the most backwards ass it, fucking thing I've it, ever it heard. It probably depends on municipality like, and uh, shit. But like when 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 that shit started, like even with like housing projects. Like housing projects, like the so one of the main famous like ones is Pruitt Igo in St. Louis. It got destroyed and shit. But like, there couldn't be a man living in there because, um, I guess a man is supposed to work. You can't. They basically broke up our families using government regu- like government aid. So now that are like a lot of women depend on the government instead of depending on the relationship or a man, yeah. you know, to work together. That's that's like incentive for us to, you know, to that split. is sick. So that is like, so like, sick. Because like, like, like the black household, like together, that shit is strong. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, if you break it up, then yeah, the cracks start to show a little bit, and and now bro, we start like, kill each other, and, and that's, that's what they want. And then our men, like as men, we feel useless because, mm-hmm. like you know, we we don't need this anymore. Yeah, that's why a lot of men be. I and mean, there's no purpose for men these days anymore either. Anyway, 
I don't want to talk about turn this into a conversation about men. No, let's get into it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, dude. I don't say no. It's not. It's not. I mean, like you got to think about like besides like in in a family in like a household. I guess like you're right though. There's no purpose for men like other than to reproduce. Damn near, like yeah. And they they a lot of women say that shit too. Like so they call it sperm, sperm donors and shit. Like, yeah, that shit's fucked up. So my friend called his dad that left sperm donor. Yeah, he calls he calls him a sperm donor. I mean, hey man, that kind of ties. I mean, that kind of ties into that question I had because, like, sometimes uh, a man might not want to have a kid with a certain woman, mm-hmm. and she's like, and she wants to have that kid. Yeah. No, and I, th- he can't. I, I think it, I mean that I, happens a lot. I, 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 yeah, I, I, some women I've been like about that. purposefully like, try to get I, pregnant I, by I'm, a specific I'm sure person. My, yep, I'm sure my siblings kind of experienced that because I mean my dad definitely loves his kids, but he's not in contact with with as whether it be like relationships with the mother that mm-hmm. are bad and shit like that. But like you know, I, I don't know, bro. Like it's and, just and, and, yeah. and unfortunately, there, there are there are men out there like that. Uh, subject. A, my dad, he has nine, he has nine kids, and I'm number five. And me and my little sister were born like a month apart. Like he, he's on, he's in his mid fifties, and he's on kid number nine. My little brother's like two years old, yeah. and, I, and I keep, and he just broke up with his fiance, and I just keep telling him, like, dude, like, what are you doing? Like, For real, like you're really getting too old to this point. Like you're really, and I, and I worry about you. Like you're getting to the point now where like this is this a habit? You got a problem, or like are you just trying to find love and it's your way to do it? Like it's because it really for some, at least at least for him, I don't know what his problem is, but it's for him. I know it's like almost. For somehow providing or make, giving giving a child or bearing a child kind of uh, makes the woman more reliant on him type type deal. But there are but, but there are guys out there who are like, yeah, I just want to get with this girl, and but I don't want to see really see myself building a family with her. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, that's 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 a lot of yeah. I mean, that's just like if you decide you decide to have sex, you gotta know what comes with that. Like what, yeah. what, what could come with that and deal yeah. with it. Which but is, you should still have the opportunity to say we don't want this child. Yeah, no, no, definitely. At the yeah. end of the day, it should be up to them. Like, yeah, not well, men don't really have government. a choice. Well, no, the woman should be able to at say least that. the woman. The woman, yeah. the woman should be able to say that. The guy, I mean, yeah. as, as a guy, you gotta know what if it, you gotta know. You gotta like, be know who the who you. Yeah, you, know, you gotta control yeah. your dick exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And my thing is, I've always I don't know about you guys, but for years I've always had uh, after sex anxiety. Like I would panic by uh, Plan B's all the time, and like I wore a condom and everything. Oh, no. In the back of my head, I'm always kind of like, oh. dude, I'm. You never know. You I, never know. I think I had to buy a, buy a Plan B once, and I didn't even buy it. I, I gave her the money to go buy it. I don't know. Wow. I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't know if she even bought it or not. To tell you the truth, they kid. So like, I, I, don't, kid I don't even like. Well, little Pat. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, that's, I don't know about it. That's wild. That would drive me insane. I would have to. I would have to be there yeah. just to notice. Uh, I was yeah. man. She there, through little bro, that. listen. <laughs> I, I, was, I made many girls. I didn't. I didn't get a phone call. I didn't get a phone call saying I got, I got a kid on the bro, way. Bro, so there's I mean, been like, plenty yeah. of girls. Why not like, just do, go buy it yourself? I was tired. I'm with them. No, I'm, I, every time <laughs> I'm done, I go, I, go, I, go, I go with them. I've only had to buy. Like, I was tired. Listen, uh, I ain't gonna bullshit y'all. I buy, I buy Plan B at least ten times. <laughs> I, ain't gonna, I mean, uh, for the most part, I, I've trust I've trusted condoms. It's just, yeah, I, mean, well, I wouldn't do that. There's that time or two when you know some shit. Yeah, not iffy, bro. Nah, I mean, man. it's so, only been it's only been with with girls that I like. I love like my girlfriends at yeah. the time that I'm mm-hmm. actually have to buy a plan B with. Like if it's if it happens, I don't even happens. just like have sex with random girls. I don't. I, I ain't never been good. I, 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 have I, have my, I have my whole that face. Shit, that shit was wild. No, I mean, like, looking back, that shit's wild. Like, I, I, I it's kind of nuts. I don't even know. It, is. it definitely like is. imagine like, just, that really did get pregnant. You know, you know what's crazy though is that that's like, like that's like why I stopped though. I stopped because like like just going to like 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 girls' houses, like random girls' houses. Yeah. Shit, that shit got sketchy after a while. Yeah, yeah. Because some because you, you, you don't know. You don't know. Hey, bro, you know, I genuinely have no idea who this person. is. What's she doing twenty four hours from now? She could have been. She could have a boyfriend last night. Last night they broke up with her. Nah, he's mad. Nah, I'm, I'm yeah, at your house he, now, literally. bro. All right. just have a fucked up family situation. Oh, now yeah. you, you a part of this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> but like, let's I'm let's let's let's, let's back it up a little bit because I'm 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 the king nigga of of, of doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> the head nigga in charge of doing it. But hold on, like we're all saying this with like like no with with a very serious mindset. Have an open discussion. But y'all know for a fact when you when you when you in a mood and you horny like you'll do. Almost it. that is true. <laughs> Come on, that y'all. is true. That is true. Pat, My house. Pat. I ain't going to your house though. That is true. You got Facts. that's where the, that's where the discipline come in. Bro, though. Listen, I've, I've exactly. seen listen, I've seen and niggas. It takes time to build that shit. I've seen niggas climb a mountain and back to bust a nut. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. come on now. Like, I mean, niggas will make the impossible happen. It's our program, bro. Off if I have to. It, 
Man, sometimes I don't listen, know if I've ever been that down bad to be honest with you, bro. Come on, man. I mean, you you've had a girlfriend for a long time, so let's so you you kind of exempt out of this example. But, but in high school, like that's high school. It's a like, little bit. They said I had bitches. No, no. I'm, <laughs> I mean, so I'm just saying, like guys didn't really give a fuck about nothing in high school. Yeah, no. Yeah, like that's it's probably it's not as bad, mm-hmm. but it's still pretty bad. Man, well, I just, like high school, it's more, like you gotta see them again. <laughs> high school, there's, there's more, there's more security in that though, because like, is know, there the, the house they live in? It's probably their parents' house and shit like that. Like, oh, yeah. I see yeah, what you're saying. So yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I'm not worried about going to your house. Like, I mean, your dad might be there. I don't know. I'm a little worried about that. But like, that's fair. In college, like, I have no idea who you live with. Who, yeah. who, like, who who was here yesterday? Who your friends yeah. are. Who your friends are. Like, who you are really? And so like. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just out here just like fucking just fucking fucking around. So what happens? So you, you prefer her to go back to your place? I feel more safe that way, yeah. Okay. I mean for me, all right. So I mean, but from her perspective, she may not feel yeah, like I know. comfortable I mean, either. But, and if she's not, that's okay. But, but thinking about this, let's both go to a hotel. We're not doing it. So, <laughs> it's not happening then, so right? It's not happening. It's so not here's happening, my so. thing. I and I fucking I, I, hate I take that L. Cap, here a capping, bro. I take that Ain't L. Ain't no more. way. Bro, if she going, was like, I'm not going to your place, but we can go to mine, you're not going to say no. Yeah, you, you ain't going to say no. I'm, going I'm, home saying, alone. I'm saying no. You're not saying Today? no. Today? Bro, yes. you're not. Today, I'm saying no. Today, or, okay. I even. <laughs> Man. <laughs> no, <laughs> all right, where you live at? This nigga already got the cap on and everything. Come on now, today, bro. There's, there's today, no I'm way. saying no. Bro, if you found you a baddie, bro, if you found you a baddie. Is she a certified hold, baddie? I'm, hold, I'm 10 out of 10. Five years ago, I might say yes, but today, I'm saying no. Five years ago? It also depends. Niggas, you don't say this tomorrow. It also depends on how you met her. You know, like. It depends on how you met. If you met her, I'm just at, like a bar at the bar in the same night. I, the same night, yeah. Same I, night, no. Same I, I, night. I have, to, I have to know you a little bit to go back to your place. Like I, I have to know you. you that's, yes, yes. I, I have to know that. a little so bit. So my days, of, my days of doing that are place. done. Now back when I worked at the bar, I used to do that shit like a lot. I had no problem like meeting uh, a girl and being like, all right, let's go back to your place, my place, whatever. You know what I mean? But like nowadays, it's like too much shit happens. Too much shit happens, and like you know, things could go wrong, and I'm just kind of like, nah. So, but like, what if she like feels the same way about like going to your place? What's the alternative? Because I make sure that you meet, go. Let's uh, talk a little more, a little longer. Yeah, know each other a little bit. Then we figure out some shit out. Because Pat, you gotta do all that. Yeah, because 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 <laughs> I'm not going back to your place the first night. I'm it was, just, not. It was just a so, fun night, bro. So you're good I'm today. Not going, then, I don't want to get to know you. Then, all right, then we're not doing this thing. Like, well, it depends. Responsible. Well, well, it depends because for me, for me, I'm kind of like, all right, is she an eight, nine, or a ten? Where I'm like, I might not see this girl again, or like, mm-hmm. she exactly. rarely goes out, or like, just, she just might not in town for the time. You know? it, and that's what I'm saying. So I'm like, is she like you a get baddie, baddie hotel? Would y'all do that? Nah. So doing too much. It depends on how much money you got on. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. Listen, <laughs> how, much, how much is one so, night? For so JT, chill? when I was on my for my, for my birthday Seven, vacation, when hotel. I went to uh, <laughs> when I went to Austin, I actually hooked up with a girl I met on Hinge. I had Hinge for like five days down in Texas. I met a girl. We we hooked up at her place. I didn't really care. I was like, well, sure. She, but you was in a different keep... state and everything. I was in a different state. So <laughs> he was free. He was you yeah. were wilding, wilding, bro. A different state. I mean, on average, like most people are like decent people. Yeah, like, yeah. But there's yeah, gonna be some outliers. And I texted her, try to kill you. you know, I, and I texted her for a couple of days, and like you know, we went out to dinner, and we hung out to the bar, stuff like that. And I was like, all right, because you, it takes time to like really talk to somebody, kind of get some uh, momentum going in the conversation to really report. get a yeah, get a good idea so of their you, psyche. You, a couple of days. you know what I mean? Yeah, I can't meet you an hour later. I'm, I'm at your place. Yeah. So what's, what's crazy? Here's the only thing that threw me by off. Right? By, so by myself, yeah, by myself at your place is like hell, nah, but, bro. Hey, baby, you, you got to overpower this woman, bro. What's she gonna do to you? The thing is, it's not it's not always her though. It's like who do you know? Like like it could be a setup for one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have you have an ex boyfriend that's crazy. Yeah, You're like you know, but, I, I'm not. Right. Days, man. I'm but not sure. For, I'm not sure where I'm going. What? But set up for what though? Like, like what's she gonna take? A, a robbery or shit? All right, so hold on, and Pat, this my life, Pat, like. Pat, but you're not in the mix like that. Like you're not <laughs> no, somebody. Not. Somebody want to come like, out and try to steal a bunch of jewelry from. Him. I don't care. I'm like, you really. just you know, that's what I'm, and that's you're what I mean. Dude. And like, I'm not dissing you, like Pat. Or yeah, like, I'm not no, dissing you, Pat. A girl like that's gonna pick the guy wearing a suit. Yeah, the dude, a girl like that's gonna pick some guy at the bar wearing a suit, or he's flaunting his money. He got on a bunch of chains or jewelry or like what Walt's saying. Like if you dress like you have a lot of money, I'm not saying you dress broke. Is not what I'm saying. <laughs> nah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but if you dress like, if you stun, right? So if you're yeah. a nigga that's out there stunning, girls are gonna target you anyways. Yeah. Because that's what they want. Like, oh, I can go home with this dude and rob him. But if you're like, hey, I'm a teacher. I have a teacher's salary. I'm like, I ain't gonna yeah, rob this nigga. Up. <laughs> that's <laughs> I make a lot of money. That's I, know, up. I know you do. I know you do. I make a lot of money too. We well, make like, a lot the thing is, like, it's not that. It's just like it's still. It still. Ha- I had to be cautious though, because like, you never know. It's, yeah. not, it's not just because of who I am. And like, I don't know who she is, right. or what she's about, or who, yeah. or, or, or who the fuck her friends are. Yeah, I mean, right. so like, that's just, it's still like hard to like. No, go. It's definitely the safe route to not do that. But mm-hmm. like, I mean,
Roe v. Wade just got overturned. What you gonna do? Thank the Lord. See, see this is so. <laughs> what you gonna do? It ain't shit you can't. So, so <laughs> yeah, you gotta deal with that. So that's a consequence. Stuff of your like actions. which is, I mean, you don't have to stay around. You don't have to. <laughs> I'm just playing, bro. Up, you, bro. you don't. I mean, she this can take her ass to court. She can take your ass to court. Child support. She doesn't know me. I was listen, man. <laughs> she I doesn't. Me. Bro, I tell girls nowadays, I'm like, they got, I told, I, they so, got this I told, head. proof. I told Sorry, her it's man. Instagram days, bro. She I told, can, if I she told can her figure out, name, uh, like, if, at the very least, she know your name, bro. She can find fake you, man. Fact, they can just find out who the father is. So yeah, yeah, you kind of fucked. I, I mean, mean, like at that point, like I, 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 I fucked you. Now you're pregnant. That's my fault. So you gonna wake up the next day? Damn, she ugly. That's another thing, too. This is why I wanted to actually have a nice family. I can't. I can't be drunk either, like going to your place, you go back to your place. Like I can't mm. I can't just like be like fucked up. I'm like, I'm like, I feel like that's like the man. only way. Bro, no, no, even, no, 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 even no. even my girl, bro, like I don't even I don't think I like having sex when it's like alcohol, like a lot of well, alcohol is in the equation, yeah. bro, just cause yeah. I didn't see I I haven't seen it personally, but I've heard stories of that shit like going bad. Wrong, it can, you know? it can go bad. I, I ain't got no time for that shit, yeah. man. I'll tell you what though, man, like when you when you drunk just in the right way, bro, you don't nut at all. That's how I know you safe. <laughs> I tell you, that shit, yeah, that shit just don't come out. So like, hey, I'm good. Like, <laughs> I never be that drunk. but uh, I I straight up, bro, I tell girls like off. off what do we rip. do? <laughs> I, t- I tell girls off rip. I'm like, listen, I just need a hit. That's it. We ain't doing nothing. Else. I just let, just let them know ahead of time. Like we ain't have no sex. I just Is it me. like like reciprocal. They gonna be good. They get out. Depends. No, how they depends. Are. Depends. It has to be. That's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. You can't. You can't. You're a it. horrible person. <laughs> you can't. Be like, like, but, but, like her place. Hey, we're going to your place, and, and you're gonna, performing you, all. You can give me head, and I'm leaving, and I'm going to sleep. <laughs> that's game right there. Bro, you <laughs> can't. I, you can't. Do I, that's that. some game. You know how much of a baller you gotta be, <laughs> bro? I've do do done this. Like this is this is the routine thing for me. I'm sorry. It's just. Oh, I'm not sorry. That's what I do. Sorry to sound like an asshole, but. I was gonna bring up she two. Some happy, women be bro. down for that shit. Some girls are that. I know. I know. Girl, right? Maybe she was happy. Mind. Like, you know, there's I no mean, way hey, I can get pregnant. No, no shame right. in here. And, and my, and my thing is, though, we didn't have sex. And my thing is, though, I do prefer to go to their place because for me, I don't like bringing girls over to my place because, like, it's an awkward thing. I'm like, oh, damn, we gonna leave? Like, we gonna fuck out of here? Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. It's like it's my yeah. like. You know, how you get comfortable in your own space. I'm very, I'm very picky about my own personal space. And so, like, it depends. I have to be like willing and accepting and wanting somebody to be in my personal space and like it's one thing like yeah we did a deed I just leave. and even me like even me going to bed i'm like damn, <laughs> wait I'm, what I just, I, I gotta, you can't I, leave your own i got uh i, I gotta got, work i gotta go somewhere so you, gotta, you gotta go too like, yo. no <laughs> yeah mean? that's true i gotta go stay here yeah i gotta go you gotta leave you're gonna have to find a way to go somewhere <laughs> literally <laughs> need a ride i can give you a ride but i gotta go so you're not staying here that's a fucked up part too no, that's that i mean that's a foolproof plan right there I mean, that's what's like. I like she for, does know where you live, and she knows that you're not there now. Because for, for me, it's like if I'm at her place, I'm like, all right, bet I'm gonna leave because it's I have work code. in the you morning. Need a key code in my apartment. <laughs> she saw you type them off again. <laughs> oh, exactly. no, that's honestly kind of scary though. That now she knows where creepy. you live at, yep. right? You know, you know what's shitty though. Is I've it, had girls. Can't get in, huh? I've had girls do this to me. Actually, a girl did this to me. Like, she she popped up on you. Nah, uh, uh, you know, girls like they leave shit. Uh, it's like oh like I, I left my gold necklace no, my, my earrings. I, I, this, I, one, this one girl did. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's never it's seen on it. the floor mat outside. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 in a box. But but here's but here's yeah, take the dumpster safety the deposit box on the outside. <laughs> but, of my house. So Cold but here's the thing though, right? So Fuck. so one time be more responsible. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> it, my dog ate it. <laughs> so this happened back in. Uh, I'll this, you. This happened back in April. They don't refunds. So this happened back in like early May, where this girl she came down to Indiana from Texas, and she was here for somebody's graduation. And me and her met up at the bar, and she came back home with me, and she left something down there. So I had to, and she knew I was going back to Austin for my birthday. So I had to make sure I packed her ship, got to my Airbnb, made she I pulled up. I would have never saw her Y'all again. Y'all hung out again? No. I would have never saw her again. I gave her, because I told her, like, listen, I'm going to hurry to go somewhere. You're, You're way too nice. Slide real quick. Because you, you should have just made it. To return a shit. necklace? You should have yeah. it. And some earrings. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I don't have it. I didn't see it. She said, like, it was my dead grandmother's. I'm like, then why are you, are you just taking us on sneaky links? <laughs> like, what that? That's a great question. <laughs> like, no, the bro, that's here. your problem. The morals. Like, the morals. Be, is be, Granny happy? Do better. I'm right. giving this away. <laughs> I didn't see it. I'm sorry. A local pawn shop will be paying a top dollar for this. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, R.I.P. to your grandma. I'm <laughs> definitely trying to get back at you, man. I'm, I'm hey, she loved this one. I'm again. joking. That's I, why I, I probably would have did the that's same That's why I told her I would have been expecting some type of friendship out of this. Like, no. No. Okay. Never mind. Moving on. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I fucked up. She was, a, she was, she was, she was, she was in her picture. So that's kind of like, uh. well, it happens. You know what I mean? But JT, would you rather have a girl be at her place or rather her, her go back to your place? Um, 
I honestly wouldn't. I don't care about either. Probably, mm-hmm. probably her place. Yeah. But at the same, yeah, probably her place. Honestly, I feel, I, I feel more comfortable. In my I don't bed know. Anyway. Like women's places is so comforting. They definitely are. Like, or you was never home. Bro. You, was, you was you was never at your party. You was always like crazy. It smells that's your girlfriend. Though. True. You know you yeah, walk in. There's like an aroma. There's yeah, like an aroma. It's like wow. Got cookies in the oven and shit. What are we talking to? That's different though. Like I, I, I'm not dating her. This is a one night stand. Right? Yeah. yeah, I know. But it's still her but that house, would be like, cool as hell. She's not making cookies. She's not making cookies. She's not making cookies though. At two a.m. I'm just saying, bro. At two a.m. A lot of girls do that. Yeah. Bro, that be nice. Hey, sweet teas, bro. Oh, hold hey, on, you man. want some cookies? Bring it, bring it to my apartment. Then, shit. Yeah. Cookies, no. we can go get Jimmy John's, bro. Come bring it to my apartment, bro. I I've had some girls where like they make me breakfast in the morning. I'm like, damn, I'm about to stay. Like, girls are different. The bro. Wi-Fi be jumping. <laughs> Wi-Fi, but they got TV. I'm like, like, damn, bro, I'm like, <laughs> stay with 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 all the subscriptions, with all the subscriptions, Hulu, Hulu Plus. I like, got, the, I got all them shit, bro. And they suck your dick in the morning. Like, bro, come on now. Like, I gotta stay. You can do all that in my apartment too. They got crazy. smell yeah. good soap and shit. Like we completely yeah, got away. So, where you get this soap from? They got fresh towels just for you. <laughs> uh, uh, I got all that in my apartment too. Trust me. I'm they got. Not, I'm not going to no, get. But it's like, different, like, bro. Like you uh, feel like they don't tell. Like I said, when women I was are amazing. Yeah, when they're when I, amazing. When, when I was like younger, yeah, that was fine. I used to do it all the time. But yeah, like now, I started thinking about this shit. I was like, yo, I don't know if I want to do this shit anymore. Like I feel it. It is a little. It felt unsafe. It does feel a little bit weird. You're in a stranger's home. But I push. You're in a stranger's home and you were just inside said stranger. Just giving dick out yeah. in her house. Yeah, I mean, if you if you agree to like bro, do that you know, with a stranger, like you might as well just go to her. Man, I'm terrible, bro. Because yeah. listen, bro, there's been time, <laughs> bro, there's one time in college, bro. I was I was I had one sneaky link, right? And uh she literally said, like, hey, if you want to stay here, <laughs> uh I'll be back after like four or five hours after I get off work. I was, what? I was that bitch comfortable. <laughs> and I wasn't that bitch comfortable. Because like the new season of Luke Cage came out, I was like, I'm gonna watch Luke Cage. She got Netflix here. Well, <laughs> I, ain't I, no way. I did say though, that's, that's, that's only That was the first time you met her? No, 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 no. It was the first time, but like this is after uh, like a couple times. I'm about to say, say ain't no that's way. That's, she that's, was that's, way that's too Only trusting. if I like if I like, just met her, I'm not gonna go to your place. Yeah. If I know you a little bit, I'm, I'm, Let's I'm, do it. Yeah, I'm fine with that. But I got I to talk to you for like at least a couple of days. Yeah. Before I go yeah. back to your place. You got to build some type It of can't be just one hour and I'm going to see I'm you in different, different scenes. Like, yeah, yeah, what's your uh, mood like well, in the well, morning? We got to set this I nigga got, up, bro. We got to set this nigga up. Bro. I got I got fucking Instagram. Account. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, we got to set the nigga up and test it, bro. I swear to God. Just to see what he's going to do. I got to find some girl who's got bad and just like test it. That's different, though, because we got an Airbnb. Ah, oh, that's fair. That's fair. Don't get, me, don't get me wrong. I will fuck somebody in that Airbnb. Don't, don't, don't do that. I don't. That's, I feel like that's different. Oh, okay. Like, we need... I don't know. This is a hot tub. I'll fuck you in my hot tub. That's fair. <laughs> no problem. Have you ever seen Damn, you get a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. You guys seen that movie, The Loft? The mm-hmm. Loft? No. It was, uh, it was like a... It was like these four or five guys had like a bachelor pad that they all... Take. Oh shit! I have yeah. seen that. I have seen that. Yeah, and it the, sounds she like dies. Sit, yep. sit goes left, she, right? She, yep. The girl dies. Some, in somebody bed. walks in and it's like a, a dead girl. A pool of blood. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yep, that it's sounds a, it's like a, a to cover up and all that shit. Yeah, it's sounds like Netflix, a, a it? twisted uh, hangover movie. I think so. It was a good movie. <laughs> I forgot who, someone like is in that movie that like is like kind of famous. I yeah, it's, it's, it was a few famous people. Hey, well, it's actually a pretty good movie. Netflix. Well, I want to say so. I, it was on Hulu. Or something. I haven't seen it in a long time. I, well, I saw that, but yeah, mm-hmm. I do remember that movie though. Well, yeah. speaking of dating and uh, all that shit, <laughs> it's the bad segue. I'm not like Pat. Um, the question that is like, up next. I on my lap. Uh, could oh, yeah. yeah, could slash would you date slash marry someone with the same name as your mom slash sister slash close relative? A lot of slashes. Lot of slashes in there. Yeah, yeah. so I. Yeah, I don't have a problem with this. If you marry yeah. someone with the same name, name as, you, as so someone that you know, let's really start. Close. Let's start with mom. She has the same name as your mom. Yeah. You can marry her. Yeah. Shit, I don't know. That's weird. That's weird. My, mom's, that made it, low, my mom's made a name uh, when I think about it. Yeah, that is kind of uh, weird. I'm not. Damn. No. It's a little right. weird. Like, I mean, but at the end of the day, if hey, we're getting married, name? her, oh. her name is like, coming. Oh, first name, first name. First I have to, name. I have to give her a different nickname. Ah, oh. because my mom's nickname is Jackie. As long as she doesn't go by Jackie, that's fine. First name, that's even yeah. weirder. Yeah, we it's, talking about last it's a little name. weird. Yeah, that's my weird first name. Shit. No, it's a little weird. <laughs> like once you first meet and she tells me her name, I'm moving like, on. Sister, <laughs> oh, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. Like, I can't do it. What's your name? Oh, I can't do it. Oh, we, we're it, gonna it be specifically it, friends. It, it <laughs> depends. Yeah, I just can't. For me, for me, it depends. Because like, I have a sister name. I have a sister name. I have a sister name Ebony, and so like Ebony is a pretty decent common name for like some some black women. So like for me, I'm like. Uh, it really don't matter to sister, me. Sister, I, I think I can do that. But if it's like my little sister, my little sister, uh, uh, you know, is, is, is K, you know, and so I'm like, well, it's, it's K bomb, but like, if, if somebody I met had the same name, my little sister, and it's so unique, I can't, I couldn't
I, 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 I like to go before then staying over with my sister. I, I think I could have did that. I see what you're but saying. Like, yeah. It depends on the uniqueness of the name and yeah. how common it is. Like if yeah. it's a common name, I think that's that weird. I mean, like, yeah. if, if, like if, it, if your mom's really name is Sarah, yeah. you're going to meet a shit ton of Sarahs. <laughs> yeah, like, it's going to happen. Ain't got date them, no shit. <laughs> I mean, you can't, but like. What if her name is like Green Plant? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's exactly my mom's name. Well, anyway, I said, I said this because like. That's kind of weird. I'm going to call her. I'm not, I met a girl. With, <laughs> I met a girl with, with, with like same name as my mom. And like my mom's name is Tara. Her name is Tara. I was yeah, like, not to me, Tara. I was like, damn. There is not to yeah. me, Tara. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a little bit that's weird. Like, I was like, yeah, that's a little weird. That's crazy. She was cool though. But it was like ten thousand cool pounds. <laughs> not, cool not cool enough. Yeah, that's an interesting question. Yeah, I never thought about that. Here's my thing though: it couldn't be my little sister, ever. Well, older sisters, I'm like, there's some like some have common names, some don't. Well, my mom's name is Marilyn, and that's an older name. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think I'll yeah, ever run into that. I don't think I've ever met any younger Marylands ever. I don't think there's any other black woman. Kim, other than my mom and her friends, Kim? There's, like, there's a couple of Kims. There are, there are, but like I haven't met. But like Kim is like as like standard as it comes. It well, like, I mean? My mom is a good. Is by her a male name is Nick, as Nicole, but she goes by Nikki. So okay. like, I meet girls who name Nikki yeah. or Nicole all the time. Yeah. That's not bad though. That's that a bad. It's name. not bad, but it's like no middle name. I don't care. Yeah, Nicole is fine. I don't care about Nicole. But yeah, meet somebody named Tara. I'm like, yeah, that's nah, crazy. I can, I can this is not way. going to work. This is, yeah, <laughs> you cool and all, but you, I just can't do this. Like, you like same your name, name like, could you like legally change that for me? What's <laughs> <laughs> your middle name? You can buy that. No, yeah. I'll, I'll call you that for now on. Would you guys date somebody? Well, when you guys like, are, when you first start dating somebody, like, would you, you ever think about like, Mm, they would make a nice tailor, or they they would make, make a pretty cool bell. Oh, like speak. I think about the the, the rhyming of the, oh, like the, the, last the, name? the way the name comes together. You I, know I, mean? I have this like it's not really a goal. It's, it might be a goal, but I wanted me to go named Taylor and make her name Taylor Taylor. Oh, you dumb as hell! <laughs> you about to manifest it, brother? It's a lot of Taylors. There's a lot of Taylors. I think your odds are pretty high. I want me to go named Taylor and make her name Taylor Taylor. Yeah, you could do that. She won't. She won't argue against it. You should just start following a bunch of girls on Instagram. Hyphenated Taylor. Hyphenated or not, you should have Taylor in your name. Taylor dash Taylor. Taylor is her last name slash Taylor. Taylor Marie Taylor. That's a lot. That's a long name. It's a long name. Well, then her nickname's gonna be Tay Tay at that point. That's the best nickname. Uh, what's the next question? Taylor, two times. That was the only one. Oh, was wait. It? Would you ever go to a serious ex's wedding? No. No. Nah. No. Baby, I don't you, think it. I don't know not, why not, bro, people I go mean, to their ex's that's wedding. That's so Awkward. weird. I don't, I don't see how your friends are Because like, we like, you know, we thought about doing this ourselves. I mean, it's, it's now all, I'm at your. Bro, unless, you, unless we had a kid or something. Bro, you see how butthurt Doctor Strange was in the beginning of the movie? That's where, that's where it came from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, there ain't no way. Yeah. I will not. I don't know. Tennis. Like that's not. I don't. I know. wish you nothing but the best. Yeah, I can't. You know, that I, I, I'll even send you a gift. I yeah. like, if any, I'll even send yeah, a gift. I'll be but I probably, I bro, the whole, there. the whole. Yeah, I'll send you a gift. Exactly. Just but know the, if I go, I'm fucking it up. But yeah, like, somehow I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm heartbroken. If I'm there, yeah, I'm, I'm heartbroken. Yeah, I'm, that's, that's really what it is. I'm, I'm there. Drunk. I'm heartbroken. I'm coming in with the nice suit. Bro. That nigga, bro. I'm, yeah, I'll be sizing the nigga up the entire event. I'm like, I'm definitely objecting. Like, how do I? But how do I get myself? How do I get myself in a situation where we got to throw hands and I win? Like, you know what I mean? That'd be my only thought. Because the entire time you're there, it's, you're, you're literally manifesting an L. Like, you're a walking L the entire time. <laughs> literally. Like, you literally, like, like the whole damn, time you're there. That's like, the dude that lost. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> and everyone knows. Because now you got to, like, meet him. Knows. It's, all, it's like that awkward little meeting. How, yeah. how, do, you know, how do you know the bride and groom? Uh, I used to, uh, we used to be friends. And when they do their little, like, they do their rounds. Yeah, they they, they get a little hug. Uh, how you hey, doing? Hey, how you doing, Trevor? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting drunk. You guys look great. Damn, I'm y'all, drunk drunk. Ooh, if y'all, how many instances have y'all had like that? I've met a couple of boyfriends. You know what I mean? Do it for, I don't ever talk to exes. I'm not there for that shit, bro. Like, because I was this that that song, Dark Red, bro. Yeah, uh, I, I was in. Still had love for her, mm-hmm. so that shit sucked. Like that shit was terrible. I think, but you know, I, I made like, it because I was trying to. Pursue the spirit it's, of friendship. It's the most yeah. awkward. <laughs> I mean, it I'm is like, the, nah, fuck that, bro. I feel like at this like, point, no, like, it's all love. I wish, I wish, It's wish the most awkward eye contact and handshake of my entire existence. I don't think I've ever but had ex, to meet when someone exes, that like, I was But exes, you can't be that close anymore. I feel like, like you can't be that close. I, to I'm your not ex. in the it's, circle with you. Yeah, or, like we don't talk. I follow you on Instagram. Or yeah, but we don't talk like that no more for me to get to go to your wedding. You went to South Carolina. That's cool. Well, for me, it's like when it came to when it came to me, like I've had girls I try to talk to. This one just happened to me so many times. Talking stage is different. C- talking or like we try to date. We've gone on dates and things like that. Like we had like a little hookup kind of thing going on for like a couple months or something like that. Yeah. And it's, for, I don't know why I think God cursed me. Have you seen that movie Good Luck Chuck? 
Yeah, I swear to God that is me. <laughs> I promise you on my life that is me. For some reason, Getting every married, time I start hugging up, they just always end up with these serious relationships afterwards. <laughs> I swear to God, every single time. I can think of at least 15 girls right now that end up either married right now, have kids, or got in a serious relationship after you know hooking up with them. Sheesh. Damn, and like for me, it's, and I've been working at the bar or like you know being around campus, things like that, certain events. And uh, during college, I was kind of like, damn, I got to see these people all the time. But, like, they're not bad people. It just didn't – I either it wasn't her best choice or, like, it was just this little sneaky link thing that's going on for a little bit of time and just had to move on. I don't have any ill will for that person. And I'll still be very cordial with them um, until, like, you're disrespectful towards me. But it's, it is an awkward moment of, like, oh, what's up? It's nice to see you again. Oh, this is a dude. Hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> Yeah, I used to nut on your girl. No, I'm kidding. Whoa. <laughs> Not, I never do that shit. But like, in the back of my head, I'm like, why am I meeting this dude? Like, why am I even talking to this guy? Yeah, no. Nah, I feel like I don't want to be that close to you anymore. Like, if we're exes, like, I'll say hi to you. I, like, I'll be friendly, but I just never want to be like as close to you like, while I get right to your wedding. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. No, never. I agree. I Unless agree. she had a kid. I'm friends with a kid. If I was a role model for that kid, I'm so serious. Regardless no, of I the agree. situation, I like, I'd, I'd be there for the kid. If we're, 100%. Angry, if we're exes yeah. and you... <laughs> fuck that kid. I mean, but at Wait, the so same she time, had a kid I don't know how... By somebody before no, she you met her? Yes. And then you had a bond with that? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, mm. I'm sorry. No. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, actively... Yeah. I wouldn't actively work to be in her life, but whenever, like, I've seen her and the kid, you know, it's all up. If it's like, like, you know? Yeah, yeah, and even, like, even if, like, the kid got older and he needs, like, a job or some shit, I'd even float, like, you that way. But, like, you know, it it wouldn't be... Because, like, your relationship with the kid has nothing to do with, you know, you and her. And so, like, if the kid really looks up to you, like, let's say the kid likes you. I mean, he's probably cool with the other guy, too. But if he really likes you and he listens to you and he respects you, it's kind of like, damn. Like, nah. I kind of care for that that kid. Like, it was almost my own. You know what I mean? I, I couldn't I couldn't nah. be there. I I'm, not, like, I'm not stepdad. I, yeah. I wouldn't be, like, stepdad. Sorry, but, like, buddy. I'd be, like, a distant father yeah. figure. I'd be, like, yeah. a yeah. very distant father figure. Once, if even. once me and her are done, so me and that kid. I'm sorry. I, I hear it's that. Probably bro. for I the best. That. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, that kid will grow up. Because like, why? Why am I still here if we're not together? Like, for the kid, it's not even my kid. Yeah, yeah. facts. Yeah. Oh, I can't do that. I'm sorry. Good luck to the kid, though. If it was my kid, that's different. Yeah, I would show it to the wedding. Oh yeah, if it was my oh, kid, yeah, if it's my, I'd show yeah. it to the wedding because we still we still family in some sense. In some sense, yeah. that would be yeah. hard though. <laughs> Damn, that'd be, Damn, that'd be that's hard. another L. Fuck. That is. Unless I'm so already hard. married. Because he's up running <laughs> running up and hugging the other dude now and yeah. shit. Like, like, Damn. Bro, I think the greatest. Get away from him. <laughs> bro, I feel like, it's, hard, it's hard to do. Like, watch your kid like, grow up with a different dad. If he's a good dude, if like, I, like I, I, I would aspire to be that disconnected and that on my shit. That way, mm. like, this shit wouldn't bother me. But yeah. if he's a good dude and he's a good stepfather to my kid, I'd be... I, 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 there and yeah. happy for them. I feel like yeah, that's like good. Before. That is the most shameful L that you could ever receive. In your <laughs> so I swear to I promise you, if, if you catch so, another man yeah. being a better father than you, he wouldn't be better. Hell no, but like, be nah, I mean, just imagine like he's just a rich dude. Like he's just a rich dude. He can that provide so mean. much. He probably he probably like a doctor, lawyer, some shit. He teaching this kid. This kid know how to fix cars. I don't even know how to work. <laughs> like if he's going over the top, like Damn. teaching your son. If he's trying yeah. to not be, if he's trying to outfather me, <laughs> that's different. I think that's not being a good father by definition. Not too late. Yeah. That's a good point. I don't know that everybody else is just like, damn, this man really teaching this kid something. What the fuck you do? I'm teaching. I'm, I'm teaching him up. shit too. There, you feel yeah. me? I'm, yeah, I'm teaching him shit. I'm showing up. More it, down to earth. I, that's bro. But that's the thing. Like, I don't want to be. Like, I don't. I I want to live in the house with my kids. That's why. Yeah. I like, that's that's that'd be tough. I can, I don't want to like be. A distant that's right, that's, father, that's like I'm not trying to raise a kid outside yeah. of my household or have to fight for kid custody because I mm. want to. I'm, my kids are gonna live with me. Like, yeah. I, I don't. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. like, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting. I'm fighting like, to you know, death. This is this 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 is crazy. Did y'all know that? Um, I got to look up. I don't. I can't quote it exactly, but the, the there was a study like figuring out what kids do better, like single mother versus a single father. How do the kids bear? And it, they actually typically Athletically do better or with the father. Athletically, or? Mm. like being raised, okay, I'm like and they're like you know life success. They typically actually do better with the father, which really? you wouldn't think. Mm. I think I think the, like my, you say this is this is for about guys or girls or both. Um, I think it was both. Okay. But, I, actually, I, I can say for guys, like for like for like little boys. I think you need a, a guy in your life when you grow yeah. up because there's some things women just can't teach you. Like, I, I, I've seen a lot of guys turn their life around once they have a daughter. They flip one eighty, and oh, they're yeah, like yeah, nothing yeah. but a that. but a good you know protector for them. Yeah, so. and I think, and the reason why I I think it it makes sense to me because, I mean, women are great at nurturing and giving you the 
love that you need, but a father is tough love. so yeah, so good at tough love, and tough love is a lot is is very necessary when you're growing you did, up, yeah, because you need to know how to be on your own, yeah, yeah, and not as a good everybody's like, not gonna be on your side, yeah. and yep. nice, and yep, and you, you want you're not gonna coddle yep. like as a yeah. father, fathers don't coddle as much. Well, JT, speaking of being a parent, I've I've, I've I had. More thoughts about this as life keeps getting worse and worse and worse. I almost ignore. <laughs> <laughs> Where's this I'm, going? I'm, yeah, right over there. Well, I'm, I'm saying like I'm getting to the point where like I don't even know if I want to have a kid in this country or it's in this life. Okay, I, my, I, I, oh, I see what you're saying. I hear that, and I I think you should have a kid in this world in this country because if you are a person that's like you know at, at trying to make the world better by making yourself better type shit mm-hmm. you know just aspiring to do great shit and do good shit once you die you're going to produce another person that's going to try to do the same shit mm-hmm. so by that i think you should yeah, yeah. You gotta create a I think new generation gotta, of people yeah. who are going to make it better well my, my, which is which is which is facts i mean i feel like a lot of people have kids for selfish reasons yeah, like I, do. I don't i don't agree with the whole notion of uh continuing your legacy like what do you like you're wrong to make dust here in a million years anyways who fucking cares um it, it, well, like you just said that's kind of the same thing though yeah, uh, I think the world needs more me. So I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> which I feel like sometimes, I feel like that's the, the, which is, sometimes it's a it's a selfish thought. Like if you yeah. just like if you met a woman like, hey, let's we'll raise a family together. Like I just want to build a life with you together and have and have kids and have a family. If you want to be a father for the right reason, I can't really say there's right reasons, but there are there are some reasons that are more selfish. But I can't say if it's right or wrong. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. Like I just don't want to bring a kid into this world and um, have them go through some of these struggles, man. Like for, for me, one of my worst fears is that like, what if I have a kid and they die early from like uh, police brutality or they somehow got convinced to go to the military and I try to talk them out of it and you know, they give their life for a country that doesn't love them back. You know, just, I have these yeah, thoughts I or mean, like, um, just, you know what I mean? You just gotta like trust and hope that you can raise your kid like and show them the right way and hope they, they stay, on, stay on that path. Like, of course, but there's there's some outliers. There's some, there's some uh, independent variables that you'll never know what's going to happen, right? Well, you know, well, yeah. I mean, I, that's, that's, that's life. I think, like, me. you can't let that fear stop you from, if you want to actually want a kid, you can't mm-hmm. let that fear stop you from doing that because, like, that's just life. Yeah. yeah. I mean, motherfucker get struck by lightning. Yeah, <laughs> you know? I mean, which, which is, hit by a which, car. Which, which, or, is, which, which is life. I mean, that from that standpoint, yeah, that's that's true. But at the same time, I don't do, like, man, a little, little over 20 people lost their kids, man, yeah. uh, in that shooting in Texas. And I'm just thinking, I'm like, Bro, this is becoming an everyday thing. People get shot in church. People get shot in the grocery store. People get shot in school, and the schools are really under attack. I'm like, bro, could I, like, could I even go through that? Yeah, you know I, mean? I, I hear that. I, no, I get, I, I, I definitely get what you're saying. You raise your kids to teach them to be friends with the mud, the crazy motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm not the best. I'm joking, but I'm also, part, the, I'm joking, but there's the moral. I'm joking, but the moral in that is like, makes teach your kid to not be an asshole. Yeah. You know, teach them to like. You know, show love and respect to everybody yeah. from an early age, and I think that would like curb that. Because I mean, ultimately, you can't control yeah. every fucking thing. But like, I don't know, man. I'm gonna train my son like Batman trained Robin. He gonna know how to fucking def- you know. <laughs> you see, exactly. Fight back. <laughs> even even the fact that you like thinking about this shit means that you like shows that you gonna yeah. be, you know raise your kid to be like a good motherfucker. And there's yeah. gonna be like a million and one great moments mm-hmm. with this. Child that you brought sure, to the world, like, like, it's gonna make you, you a better person. Yeah, you can just think about the, like the one negative thing that might, that might happen. Yeah, that probably would never happen. Yeah, yeah. Like, you gotta think about everything that that's positive. I don't know, man. All those beautiful, beautiful big niggas. And that's that, <laughs> kids are like also like opportunities to have like the best like friendship or relationship that you can have with a person. Yeah. Like if you raise your kid the right way, like you, like that's like that's like everything that you could have wanted to be type yeah. shit. You yeah, because now it's not about you anymore. Yeah. Like you yeah. live so much just. Trying to get you where you want to be. But now it's like, I don't give a fuck about me. Like, I'm trying to I figure out this, what they want, yeah. what they I want this do, person to be they, great. Bro. It's, yeah, it's bro. different from, because like, I have a niece, it's, just, it's a little different. But like, because like, when I'm with her, like, bro, I swear, like, she's the most like innocent person I've ever seen in my life. Like, she, yeah. she, she doesn't know anything bad. So, like, nothing matters. Nothing matters. So she, she's <laughs> yeah. always happy and smiling. I'm like, damn, Aww. like, this is like the most amazing thing in the world. Like, having, having this kid and like, just seeing them grow. Yeah, and so like, I mean, it's not, she's not my kid, so I, yeah. I, not just, uh, like anything bad happens, like I don't deal with that shit. But like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, like just no, like be, just being cool. there and like watching them grow, like, watching them like like figure out things on their own, mm-hmm. it's just really cool to see. So like yeah. having a kid that's actually yours, it's even like, it's worth it. Yeah. You get to see them shape up and you yeah. hold them, man. That's that's, that's got to be something beautiful. like. That's, but yeah. there's, there's definitely gonna be tough times, man. Oh, that right. just makes all this shit mean something. Yeah, but what? Yeah. what 
I mean, like, I'm, I'm bad at like, a lot of shit. Just imagine having a son, he just, or a son or daughter, and they just suck at all the things that you suck at. It's like, damn, we both just suck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, 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 learn that's to, learn sounds together. like a good relationship. Learn together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, on YouTube, we both just ask at sports, and I'm like, damn, bro, you got to learn, learn together. Got my then, right? You got to learn together at that point. But you give, they get a chance, though, because, like, because <laughs> <laughs> it's not just you. Yeah. Because yeah. you, you, you know that you're not great at something. So maybe you right. can start them young, you know, and teach them. But, you know, your kid, like, might not, might not have the aptitude to, like, really get good at to understand it and <laughs> exactly. pick up on it. That's, and that's fine. We don't need everybody to be an athlete. Right. Yeah. You can't, and like, we, if and anything, we probably have too many damn kids to try to be athletes. And like, fact. most and they of them are going to make it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Someone has to tell them, like, yo, you're not going to make this. Like, yeah. They've been playing basketball since they were six. They yep. get all the way to college and nothing happens. Yep. Yeah, it's like, damn, who am I? <laughs> like, uh, so life yeah. is basketball. Uh, but uh, to, to segue, there's no good subway here. Have you seen The Boys? I haven't, yet. I haven't Damn. yet. I haven't yet. Right. I can talk about it though. I, I spoil shows for myself and still watch it, watch them, and be excited. Like, oh my god, <laughs> Luffy, Gear Fourth, gear. and like, yeah. you know, this is a this, this is season three. So like, if you actually start it, you probably forget all about the season. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, you probably not on Gear Fifth yet, are you? I know about it. Okay. <laughs> I know about it, man. See exactly, bro. I'm on Whole Cake Island on the show, but I know oh, about man. that shit. Oh, I'm, I'm on with the manga, but we won't get into it because we don't know anime. But uh, dude, this is probably the best episode of TV <laughs> okay. I've seen in a very, very long time. Oh, that sounds it's, good. It's, it's, this is like this is like the best build up in the entire series. Like this, I think this is like the top episode in the entire series because everything just came to a head. Because we have not seen, we've only seen like a couple of fight scenes. Um, we've seen Kimiko fight. This fight wasn't really a fight scene. Shit. This was a fight. That's two seconds. What happened? No, it was longer than that. He flew, he flew away. I can't remember. And could, who was fighting? Homelander, Homelander. Uh, Soldier Boy, and. Um, Huey and, Huey and uh, oh Soldier. right 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 yeah. So my thing is, I was like, we, that's, but he, we just gonna ask me he flew away. But we've <laughs> never seen. But we, that's also, that's the coolest part though. Like Homelander in the entire show yeah. has been stunting around like niggas can't touch me. I'll kill you right now. And then he was just, he was shook. He's like, damn, the greatest hero of all time is alive again. Fuck. Well, like even that's what he he was he was still holding his own though. And yeah. No, he he got overpowered because like they had they were, they were on that V. Yeah. Right, that's so what I'm saying. They, they went on that V. It'd be even fight. Right. He might have won that yeah. fight. Probably won. Yeah, but here's my thing, though. Like, but yeah, everybody that's... thought, so, like, nobody's going to fight Homelander back because they all think, like, oh, even with all of us to get combined, like, we can't fight them. Shit, two niggas on temporary V and Soldier Boy showed you. 3v1, y'all can still, 2v1, you can still what the niggas at. Uh, if I catch you without the V, then what happens? <laughs> like, that's your ass. You just got to be. Because <laughs> he's going to come back. Yeah, well, exactly. Like, I got to kill him. Nah, bro, you gotta be. You be. And pumped. then I feel like Soldier Boy doesn't even like really care about killing Homelander. He's just there because like the dude wants him there. Well, they well they made a deal, so it's like, hey, I, you help. We're gonna help you kill all your dudes. You help us kill Homelander. Like, well, what, happens, what happens when, when he kills all his dudes first? And Homelander's still alive. <laughs> I mean, I think he's a. I mean, he's an old school. He's an old school superhero. So I think he's a man of his word. Like his whole entire character was about oh, back back in my day, men were this pussy bullshit, yeah. baby strap, uh, real men back. in Bill Cosby's America's Dad, like all this kinds of crazy it's shit like that. It's so, also the same thing that, that Black Side when he hears fucking Russian music, though. So, like, you can't really trust this, what he says. I mean, you just gotta put some earmuffs on this nigga and you good to go. <laughs> every, time, every time he hears somebody Russian speaking, he black out and, and kill everybody in sight. <laughs> I mean, but that's the thing. Like, you just get a nigga some AirPods and play something else you, or something. I feel like this is gonna you know, go Some bad. Beethoven? Some Beethoven or anything, this bro. This is gonna go bad. Social Boy's gonna end up dead. Homeless gonna end up killing everybody. No, that's, the show will never end like that. But the thing is, it was just cool because a lot of things happen. Like, uh, Starlight's finally done. Like, she's like, I'm tired of lying. I'm tired of the bullshit. I'm tired of lying to people. Everybody's been dying. Uh, Huey, Huey feels like he's just so insecure and he's going to addict it to the V and getting addicted to the power. Because for, for him, this did take a while. Like, he's always been that guy where, like, he's been the pushover. And he's no. never been his, yeah, he's just a bitch, and like now he can actually do something and fight back, which he didn't really fight. He was more for like a distraction. He pushed Homelander like low key. Nigga transport naked. That's all he does. Yeah. <laughs> he loses his clothes. Ah, that's that's shit. It. That's yeah. funny. He's Bro. like your dick is out. <laughs> I mean, R.I.P. A train, by the way, too. Damn. We don't know if he's dead just yet. Nigga dead. We don't know if he's dead. He had a heart attack, but you can have a heart attack and still live. This heart stopped. <laughs> you don't know that. Watch him be. Watch him be in the hospital. Shadow. Episode seven. Be in the hospital. A okay. Man. Man. Bro, what what is dude's name that went off on all those black people? Uh, Blue Hawk, the racist one. Bro, A Train put a Mortal Kombat move on him. He Yo. ran his nigga through the dirt. I was like, yeah, buddy <laughs> was out of out of hand, bro. He was he was out of all control. lives matter. Soup <laughs> lives, soup matter. lives matter. <laughs> yeah, man, bro. bro, when he started hitting black people, I was like, bro, please kill. He's tossing the ass. Yeah. <laughs> he threw their ass in the wall. But I was like, like wait a second, bro, if you give you a can't cop, get this upset, bro. <laughs> He's like, he's like, well, there were a threat to me. I'm like, nigga, you got superpowers. Like, 
How's anybody that to you? You over here tossing niggas with one, one arm against the wall, breaking backs. Yeah, they're like, they saying words to you, and you, you, you got pissed off. Keep your composure, and you a cop. And like, bro, this is this is a superhero cop, let alone like <laughs> real cops <laughs> out in the world with guns. You gotta watch this. Show. I'm, I'm bro, you gotta watch this. I'm gonna check it out. It sounds, bro, it's it sounds lit. Good. Yeah. So, Amazon Prime. Uh, Kimiko is still a badass, even though she kind of lost her powers. But it's like, okay, did she temporarily lose her powers? Her powers kind of coming back? Are they in a weakened really state? Know, yeah. We don't know because she was taking hits. She was getting she can't beat the fuck up. <laughs> she was still, she was still stabbing that nigga back. They came back for a little bit during that fight, like when she broke. She was in the warehouse when mm-hmm. the dude got caught. Mm-hmm. They came back for a little bit. It looked like then, like she got get hit in that little that wound. Uh-huh. And like she was like, but she was still holding in though. Like if you ain't got powers, and you still fight. Like you're a badass regardless. Yeah. I don't care nobody says. She grabbed what she grabbed, like a piece of stick or some some glass. It's like steel. She starts stabbing a nigga in the chest. I done went home. <laughs> but she was shaking that nigga like eight, ten thousand times. She's like, That's my power's he, gone. I'm not, I can't do anything. I'm, I'm yeah. Done. You, you guys, uh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> but here's my thing. Why does why isn't Fritzy carry a gun on him? Like old Russian bitch is gonna pull up at any moment in time. Like you you just not ready. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like nah, carry a gun, man. just be ready at can't all times. Kill Frenchie. Nah, and Frenchie not He's gone. too agile. <laughs> Survive everything. He does. He, he just be way. there, bro. <laughs> I feel bad though. They're they're doing mother's milk dirty. They drugged this nigga last episode, and then he. They, I think the uh, he got knocked out again. Why is his name Mother's Milk? Uh, I can I can explain in the comics, but whatever. He didn't get knocked out. Starlight told him to not, to not fight. And just come well, he got knocked. Well, he got knocked out in the last episode before that when they uh, first yeah. saw. Uh, was it not Homelander when they first saw uh, Soldier Boy, and then now. Uh, he got you know uh, what's his name kept him at bay on the V, but it's like he he really can't do anything. It's like he does want to kill Soldier Boy, but it's like bro, we gotta wait. Like, like hold on, like we could probably do that shit later, or you gotta find some way to make amends or something. Cause we he need him really right now. So and so we don't know where Queen Maeve is. I feel like if you really just get Queen Maeve, Starlight, and Soldier Boy, that's all really all you need. Like you really just need somebody to shoot lasers at this dude and someone to throw hands with, and that's it. You can literally kill him. He's got to decapitate him. Yeah. Because he's not invulnerable. Like, once he saw him get the bruise, I'm like, oh, this nigga really can get hurt. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Like, you got to stop pretending like he can, he's a badass shit. Like, if motherfuckers really got together, I guarantee you, like, if a whole team of B-list, C-list superheroes got together, they could probably still whoop his ass. The Deep's not whooping his ass. <laughs> the Deep. <laughs> <laughs> the Deep's not. He can summon a bunch of whales <laughs> yeah. or some shit. He going to fuck him. That's what he's going to mm-hmm. do. He's, exactly. He's weird, bro. I don't like he is a sick human being, bro. Why is he fucking? He's deep, as, deep as like Aquaman in, in this series. But he, he likes fucking fish. Yeah, he, he's nasty. really he's like, a sicko. What's the premise? What's the premise? Uh, basically, like imagine how the world is right now, but superheroes. And like they and like they are like corrupt. Everything's about profit. Yeah, it's like it's, it's like awesome. government officials but, with so, superpowers. So, Capitalism so, mixed with my hero. So yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Um, so mixed together, Elon Musk and uh, what's the thing that owns Amazon? Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos together. And they own one major corporation that controls basically like imagine you put Disney, it's like, it's like Walmart, McDonald's, Disney Walmart, yeah. and and all these big corporations that control all of our life together yeah. in one all company. The media. And then they also fund pharmaceuticals and all kinds of shit like that. They've had their own media channel, they had their own food, movies, all that kind of bullshit. And they also uh secretly, you know, steal babies and put drugs on them <laughs> to make they, superheroes. They just make more of them. To make more of them. It's yeah. Crazy. And they and they, their their company basically Tells them what to do. Like, hey, this is for for the company's image. We need you. This is a seven best superhero just league Avengers, whatever. Y'all just gonna do what we say. That's kind of wild, wild, but it's. I mean, it's, <laughs> it is wild, and it's super gory at yeah, times. Yeah, and like, it will really sounds like a good show. Extremely inappropriate. Bro, there's there's a superhero on that like. <laughs> Let's show everything. You can't watch it with anybody else. But you gotta watch it by yourself. I would not recommend watching so, this with yeah, somebody else. No, nah, I would. My, my girl barely bared through it. She won't. She nah, won't she won't. She will not like this It's like a lot. It's just. It's a lot. <laughs> you get random powers and like so what's, you don't know what you're gonna get some powers are stupid some powers actually like are overpowered but like uh, there's one dude where like he got superpowers and his dick's like 8 feet long or some shit you know what I mean Fuck. and they showed that shit and they showed they that, show that shit, shit. <laughs> like, you gonna see that niggas be talking with his dick out like <laughs> waving at you and shit the love sausage <laughs> love, they call him love sausage yeah. that's a superpower long dick <laughs> that's funny as hell it's just, the it's long dick super, demon. Like they didn't have to do that uh, at all. Like, it's just a lot of that. In, like, like every they, episode, they just show it. Like you don't have yeah. to show it. They show, <laughs> like, they show everything. Like they, they, don't, they don't hide anything. No, they're so, showing so, everything. So you exactly. know. So have you seen Spider Man two? Uh, not the new one, but the old school one. Yeah. So, so you know how like, you know Doctor Octopus his his, his tentacle be like look at you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the dick be doing. That's fucking gross. Bro, That's, that's weird. That's when, funny as hell. Bro, when MM, when MM opened that door, bro. I was pissed. Oh, what door? 
He opened the door to go to the bathroom, and they, the nigga came oh, on. Bro, they he got nutted on and bro. He got nutted on. <laughs> That's fucking gross, uh, bro. It's it's a lot of so scenes, so basically this this episode was about it's called Hero Gasm. So like basically, yeah. Soldier Boy's trying to kill these old like these Wonder Twin knockoff characters that were on his team back in like was it the fifties or sixties? Sure, whatever, the, whatever, seventy or something like that. I think it was like the Vietnam War, and. uh he got it, he got abducted by the Russians, but it was an inside job. So his old Super Hill team put him up to it. So he's been on a hit list, taking out his old sidekick, his old girl, these Wonder Twin dudes, and he's just going on the list. And uh, uh, Huey and what was one nigga's name? I can't. What's the main guy's name? Whose name we keep Butch? forgetting? Butcher. Yeah. So Huey and Butcher are like, listen, bro, you kill the biggest, baddest dude that basically replaced you. You help us kill him. We're gonna help you find everybody else because you know he's like Captain America. He's he hasn't seen technology. He doesn't know what Bluetooth is, the internet is. It's, it's like that. Like, all right, well, we got a deal. And so there's this party that the twins are throwing uh, in Connecticut or Oregon, whatever the fuck it, like that. And all these B-list, C-list hero, heroes just get together in this one spot, this big-ass mansion, and just have sex. That's really what it is. And there's, like, there's, there's a comic about it, too. Uh, and they have people serving them sushi, and they got free food and drinks. Be, and it's all these rooms, people just doing different things. And they all show up at one spot. It's so, like, uh, a train and Blue Hawk square off, and then Starlight is there to confront some people and save some people. And MM's there to because Starlight's trying to save all those heroes before uh, Soldier Boy. He's radioactive; he can explode and murder everybody. Uh, spoiler alert: motherfuckers die regardless. <laughs> uh, Homeland stepped on termite <laughs> or the, the shrinking dude. That was crazy. Um, die anyway. And so, like, it's all these plot lines that's been going on for so long. They come to a head in just this one spot. And really, the biggest thing is like, all right, we've never seen. Basically, Superman get his ass whooped. And he finally did. And that was like the coolest part about the whole, the whole episode. So, 10 yeah, out of 10. So, uh, if you haven't seen it, you pretty much just. <laughs> yeah, you, you just got to I'm going to forget. Yeah. But just see it is that's, different. That's in season yeah. three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you used to, you just, there's just so much. Did y'all watch uh, season, season three of Atlanta? Yep. yep. I, I, I didn't finish I, it. I just finished it last week. Actually. I need to finish the last episode. Last episode, the last episode is, is fucking crazy. It's, it's, yeah, it's stupid. I still bro, have v, bro, v was wilding the whole episode. Wilding, like wilding. Like, like, what the fuck are you doing? Go home. Prove yeah, how black you that. are. Is that the one with Kevin Samuels? That the last uh, episode? Yes. No, not, no, not, not, that, was not that, that one. one. That was there's the one, one more after that. that. Oh, there's one more after that? Oh, I didn't yeah. even know that. Can't but I'm... Beat the shit out that man with a bread. Oh, my goodness. Bread, bro. It was it's weird for me, though, because, like... Who is this? Like, I was like, you need the fuck out of with that bread. I was blood on the bread. I was like, is it even B anymore? Like, is it even her? Or no. <laughs> I don't know. That's why I was like, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Because yeah, that shit whole new crazy. identity. And shit. She had a met, she had a, a crisis. I don't know where the show's going. Um, I don't that, either. I, I think that was the point. Yeah, at this like, point, it got, well, there's there's a concrete, clear plot in the first and first second season. Kind of. You know what I mean? It well, the, kind of was. I think that the, the plot, first the first season, yeah. Second season, no, not really. Yeah. So I just don't know where the show's going. It's like it's like a bunch of mini episodes of just watching these people just be famous and do dumb shit. I mean, the, still the best one is that nigga lost his cell phone. <laughs> that was. That was. He's like, he's like, white dude he's like, my number is eight one one. Beep. That's my number, nigga. Yeah, that's a good show. Yeah, it is. It's getting kind of weird. That was um, a good show. Did you guys the movie uh, Hustle on Netflix? I have not that? seen it. Fire. What is? Uh, Adam Sandler. Starting Adam Sandler and Queen Latifah. I started it. I gotta finish it. Yeah. I gotta it's finish a, it's it. It's a good movie. Shout out to it's, Adam for getting pretty. serious though. I watched, I watched he's it been the goat, but like he's still going. That shit's crazy. Well, I ain't gonna, I, see, I, I, what pissed me off though, like he'll do good movies and then all of a sudden he'll turn around and be like, hey, here's Grown Ups 3. Like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? <laughs> they be having these goofy ass <laughs> movies on Netflix, yo. For no reason. Now, his whole catalog is kind of goofy. Jack and Jill. His whole catalog. I haven't seen that Huey, Jack and Jill. Huey Halloween. Uh, yeah. Fucking, you don't mess with the Zohan. The Zohan. Like, I used to love that shit as a kid, bro. I watched it now. I'm like, that shit is so crazy. See, okay, my favorite. So I have two favorite Adam Sandler movies. It's uh, is it Click. It's Click. Yep. Click is, <laughs> Click is, is a gone. fucking classic. I fucking that shit made me cry, bro. That shit is sad. Like, it really is sad. It's, it's Click was, in uh, Eight Crazy Nights. Ooh, I don't think I've seen that Eight Crazy Nights. That's the cartoon yeah, one, right? It's the cartoon one. Is That's that the fire. one with the, the snow and shit? No. Yeah. I mean, it snows. It it's, snows. It's, it's, it's animated. Yeah, it's about Hanukkah. And it got it's that dude with the hot, the little old man with the hot pitched voice. Yeah. That yeah. That? <laughs> I've been thinking about that movie for a while. Yeah, we call it technical <laughs> foul. <laughs> technical foul. Technical foul. <laughs> he, he's, and, he, and he lives with his he lives with his sister. They're both they're both like short. The they're, set, yeah. they're both little people with one big foot each. And, just, <laughs> and he's a he's a referee. <laughs> yeah. I never heard that movie. 
It was a good Bro, you gotta watch it. It's a really good movie. I love man. that movie. It's a great movie. It's called Eight Crazy Nights. Yeah, this catalog. Uh, is insane. Insane. Yeah. This catalog yeah. is it's a real, insane, it's actually a sad movie. Like it's crazy to me. Like Adam Sandler, like you know, he's funny. He can do like a lot of dramatic roles. Either he's Bro, uh, like real life or voice acting. What's the uh, one where he had the kid? Uh, Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Mm. Yeah, that's my shit. <laughs> His movies movie. are actually goaded, bro. Uh, yeah. he, uh, he's, he's, he's bro he has goat. so many good ass movies. Yeah, and the Girl, thing is, Happy like, Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. Yeah, mm, a good one. And the thing is, like, he's bro, he's be living his life. No, Who bro. What's shit? the one, bro? Listen, bro. You know the one my favorite one is when it came on TV. I watched the whole thing. What's the one with Chris Rock? Going up. He got a couple. Nah, nah, nah. The one where he's in, the one, one where they're playing football. And he's in jail. Oh, oh Long and Short. Bro, Long and Short is one of the greatest movies of all time. Long and Short was a great movie. I got these cheeseburgers, man. I got these cheeseburgers. Cheeseburger. It ain't easy being cheesy. cheesy. Jeez, that nigga, Terry Crews out there giving that cheeseburger, bro. That's a, I was mad as fuck. I was mad as fuck. They're playing I, basketball. They go spout him. And I, Terry Crews, they're going to give him an order of sweat. Bro, that's fucked up. That shit was. You're not, you're not even playing. Yeah, he played a game, bro. Who was, who was the, uh, the NFL rep? Was that, uh, was that Marvin Harrison? Or, no, no, no. Oh, was, I can't remember. Who was that in that movie? Uh, NFL? Yeah, somebody from the NFL was in that movie. Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember, bro. I can't remember either. I know, that I, was a good I know it movie. had Nelly in it. Yep. Everybody was in that movie, bro. Dang, Meg it. That was uh, a great movie. It had a sad ending. Well, it was a, it was a pretty decent ending. Yeah, they, they, killed, they killed Chris Rock, and that was sad. Yeah, that yeah, was fucked up. up. Yeah. <laughs> that was some bullshit. But nah, it just, I don't sound like it's really, really good movies. I mean, The Hustle, I'm definitely going to watch. I didn't see his last, the other one where the... Hidden Gems? Yeah, Hidden Gems. Oh, yeah. That, that was Uncut that was, Gems. Uncut, uncut gems. gems. That, that was good. good. It was cool. It was... I don't remember. It. The it was, end. It's heavy. The end, I was like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was kind of Finally it got where he needed to be. Yeah. To, well, don't spoil it. Goddamn, I want to watch it. It was <laughs> sad, though. You, you should. You spoiled everything else? Nah, it's, bro. It's, it's dope. It's another serious movie. It's a dope-ass movie, though. It is. It's weird seeing like Adam Sandler play. It has that one girl in it that went crazy. It's intense. Oh, Julia Fox. Julia Fox. The one that was with Kanye for a while? Why go that was with Kanye? She, they're, not, they're not together no more. No, then I was quick. So. I uh, he moved on like several times. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. He, she, yeah. Well, yeah, no, she, I don't think Kanye gonna get married. She's again. in that movie. I hope he doesn't. He better not. I don't think he is. I don't think anybody could deal with that. Nah, bro. I think he's, he's, he should be d- alone. D- d- just take he ain't gonna take get married kid. until he gets a little older, and he's gonna. I think he's. I don't Comes know. Down a little bit. Just yeah. take it. Just take it. Just have, you have kids now, bros. Make sure they're good. That's all you gotta do. Live your life. You don't need nobody else. It's cool, bro. Uh, is there anything you guys are looking forward to in entertainment that's come, upcoming in the next uh, couple months? I put on here. Uh, this is a show that I, this just came out. I think like this week. It's called The Bear. It's on Hulu. Mm-hmm. Oh, it stars. What's the name from Shameless? Right? Yeah, the, the, yeah. the lip. I think. Yeah, I was looking at that. Yeah, I was thinking uh, about checking that he, out. He's a chef, and like he has to come back home to Chicago and like take care of his uh, his, his brother died. He's come, oh, back, really? he's, he's come back home and like, and like take care of his brother's shop, his, his uh, sandwich shop. Oh, mm-hmm. bro. So now he's he's like trying to like figure out like how to do all this shit. Bro, what's the, what's the cool. act, what's the actor's name? Because that's one of the greatest actors of all time. But it's only been in Shameless for me. That's the only thing I've seen him. Uh, I don't know his name, but like, like, but like girls love him though. Bro, if you if you watch, have you guys seen Shameless? Yeah, nah. not all. Bro, the way through. I'm on like season four. Bro. I stopped. Bro, I stopped a long time. I ago. finished. I finished the whole thing. Like, bro, it's he lives. You're talking about Frank, the dude that played Frank. No, I'm talking about the dude that plays Lip. His the name brother. is Jeremy. Oh, he's Jeremy he's Allen actor. White. Yeah. He, bro, he has, bro, there's been some times he brought me to tears in some seasons. I'm like, bro, this man is really going through it. He was just trying. He's just trying, bro. Like, he's trying his absolute fucking best, and just life keeps hitting. Like, he has a genius IQ. He's smart as fuck. That, that, that girl who fucking left her kid with him and now yeah. he's take care of a kid bro that's what I'm saying like he, and that felt bad because I'm like Lip's just a good dude he, just had, he struggled with alcoholism Shitty circumstances he's just a fucked up fucked up he failed out of what Yale he failed out of Yale because he couldn't kept fucking a teacher <laughs> Oh, it wasn't yeah. Or Harvard. It was somewhere. It was somewhere in Chicago. It oh, okay. was somewhere, went, It was somewhere like it was somewhere local. But he he was fucking teacher though. But it's just she was kind of bad. I, I, I might have fucked her too if I had a chance. Damn near. And the husband was cool with it too. Husband was like, yeah, man, you know, how, how's the how's the fucking wow? How was it going? It was wild. Bro. But yeah, yeah, no, the bear, shameless is wild. The bear on Hulu. Yeah, that's a good show. Though. Shameless has to be like one of the wildest shows. Um, I, didn't, I never finished. I can't I wait. Want to. I can't wait till October for. Um, Model for two to come out. It's June. I'm yeah. excited for that shit too. Yeah. I'm excited for that shit. I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back on Call of Duty for that shit. Oh, I can't lie. Um, right now, Damn, right. I feel like I gotta do it now because everybody keeps telling me that. Bro, Model Warfare two was like the best, bro. Was, I'm cool. I'm I hope it. I played. I played. I, I, I played it once. I want to play it again. But Pat, they if I, Pat, I, if I like buy it for you, you play it down, bro. Probably not. If I buy it for you, you play it. Not doing it. October e two. No, I'm cool. That's that's doing my. my I'm, I'm teaching anything too. Oh yeah. I don't play video games and doing that. I'm teaching. It's only during summertime I play video games. I mean, I'm play, gonna play one night. I'm honestly gonna probably have to wait Saturday, till Sunday break
Rebirth was the Rebirth Island, like the small one. Where it's like forty people drop down, and like you can come back to life real fast, thing like mm-hmm. that. Um, that one is tough though because like so niggas small. be watching the sky, bro. Niggas be waiting for yeah. you to land back. It's like it's like, super small. Like, like, you can see everybody. Exactly. So because that one's quicker. So like what, what the original battle royale is like. Damn. All right. So like 150 people, and you got to survive to the end. But those games take so yeah. long, and like you just be like driving, <laughs> yeah. looting, minding your own business, <laughs> buying shit. Somebody just boom, <laughs> <laughs> blow your ass away. Yeah. <laughs> like damn, bro. I'm, I'm still the classic. I work so player. hard for exactly. all these goods, <laughs> and then your ass go to the gulag, and yeah. you lose that shit. It's like, oh, like game's bro, over. <laughs> I'm not playing this again, bro. Still it takes game, forever bro. to load yeah. back up. No, my cousin been trying yeah. to give me on uh, Warzone for the longest time. I'm like, bro, I'm not doing this shit. I'm just, I love I'm, Warzone. I'm just not. What's I'm, a, this shit, I'm addicted to it, bro. I'm not, I'm not a big battle royale. I like the multiplayer. I'm still bro, a classic. It don't matter how long I've been off of it. If I come on, I know I'm going to win at least one of those yeah, games. I'm, I'm cool. I'm I'll be camping like a bitch. Team death match. <laughs> team, I just team be minding my uh, business, bro. I do. Uh, what's the, what, what, it's like Capture the Flag. What's that one? Domination. Domination. I, I, yeah, I, I, domination. I like that oh, one. Hard point. Hard point, oh, bro, yeah. You know my favorite one I realize I love Search and Destroy. Search and Destroy bro, it, bro, the best part, if you when get you some got friends together, yeah. Yeah. you got a good you team. You got to have a squad. Team. Bro, the best part about searching the stories is that you have one life, but like niggas, every time the round is done, niggas be talking hella shit. Because <laughs> I love talking <laughs> shit. He's like, man, you I'm like, bro, you, you can, bro, like, listen, get the dick out your mouth, bro. Fuck, you can't shoot. I was like, bro, how you had this ass ass aim, bro? Take your, take your bargain bin headset with your bargain bin skill and go back home. Yeah. I be talking hella shit. <laughs> I turn, my, I turn my mic off. People yeah. ain't heard nothing until they got on like a, a Call of Duty server, like oh, in the early days, bro. Like that's that was like the peak of like shit talking. Nah, it was in Word City, so much. You know, yeah. there was so much shit. You like I wish I would get mad if somebody like call. I don't. I don't give a fuck. With like people. you can't give them that energy. Yeah. You know, what you, time for your ass. Just boy. mute you. I'm like, you a nigga. I'm just, yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna mute you, bro. I'm not hearing all this shit. Bro. Like, yeah, just mute them. Like, I can't hear you, sir. But the only time I got mad playing a game of Call of Duty is when like when you're trying hard, you're like, trying your fucking best, and you still lose. And it's your team, shit. man. Yeah. It's like I'm trying to, like I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull my best skill here. We still lost. It's like all right, I, I can put the controller down. Yeah. Don't you care too much. Thing, you can like, fuck around and like you still lose. Like all right, I'm fucking around. I ain't taking it seriously. Call of Duty lost, like lost, like I don't, I don't fuck with it as much as I used to because like. It's like it's almost like a participation award type mm-hmm. of game now. Because if if you put bullets in somebody and somebody else, like one of your teammates kill them, they, they get y'all both fire. get the kill. Yeah, it's like it's like every kill that you get counts, like and I don't think they even show it. Not they anymore. Did. I don't think they do that anymore. Uh, it's, it's still there. No, you still get an assist. You get the assist. Yeah. Like it, it, yeah, you do get assist. It's still you. It still count as an elimination. I'm talking about in multiplayer. Oh, multiplayer. Oh, I yeah, don't know. I, yeah, I'm talking about multiplayer. That's that's. Well, they, they, they saw the KDA ratio. They saw me. It'll still say like, hey, how many assists you've had? How many kills you've had? How many deaths you had? I don't think so. I haven't played in months. I don't think so, man. Like. It, I don't know, but that shit. That I shit's stopped, weird. I stopped playing with because like some, some dude was on my team told me, I, "You fucking suck. Turn your fucking uh, game off." You did. I was like, "All right, cool." Yeah. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. You, yeah, let, you let him hold you. Like, 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 you let him hold you like that, bro. Like, hey, cool. Nah, he was right though. I, nah, I had zero nah, kills. I had zero kills. I was like, you know, you're right. Oh, yeah, Loki, you, you bring up a good point. That was a sign. <laughs> I, have, I have not played since. It was a sign. I have not played that game. Since, I feel like if you really try, you can get good at the game. I don't like. I mean, like, I, I like playing them, but like, I, I like sports games better than like okay. games like that. So we all need to hop in. Party one. I feel like we haven't done that. Ever. Uh, we got it. I did with you. I think you and Maddie one time. That was like last summer. Yeah, it was last summer. That's what that's we should do. It. it was fun. That's what I play during summertime. So because like, it doesn't matter. If we play tomorrow. Like, yeah. You, what y'all doing tomorrow? I got practice. I am actually off. Hey man, we'll I call on, yeah. I'm gonna hop on tonight. Like, once we get out of the I ain't got great. Gracie's gonna be mad at me for coming in late anyway, so I might uh, as well be. Uh, might as well be on the game. Can't can't get much matter. You're already mad. You know. You know, I might as well since you here. Only you get more mad. You already mad. You already mad. So I'm also <laughs> just gonna stay up all night. I mean, she already mad. What's the point? Hey, She's gonna make a bunch of noise in here eating chips and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you can even be mad and be awake. Be mad. I'm so mad. Yeah, you gotta pick one. Yeah, hey, you gonna be mad either way. Hey, baby. <laughs> yeah, this is how it goes. Bro. You just gotta get used to her being mad. Like, I'm so used hey, to it, man. Like, listen. I, it doesn't I'm, affect I'm, me. I'm excited for like, Bleach. Ah, oh, you mad. Bleach. Bleach. Oh, Bleach is coming back. Yeah, I forgot. Bleach is coming back. I'm excited for it. I didn't like the anime, though. I don't care for it. <laughs> you can be, you can there be, was a lot of filler. It should be funny yeah. sometimes. You can be mad with rest. You can be mad restless. <laughs> like, <laughs> you really just mad? Like, but when, like, because, like, when, like, girls get it's mad. It's not that deep. When girls get mad, it's not for nothing, bro. It's like, why are you like, so mad? Like, look at you. Look at you mad. It's kind of funny. 
Like, I won't lie, but like, if like when, when like girls like yell at me, I'm like, oh shit, I'm gonna start laughing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Are like, so you really raising your voice in the start, inside? Start crying a little bit. I'm like, ah, oh, damn, you actually leave me. <laughs> yeah, that that shit just bounces off. I be feeling I'm gonna do okay, something uh, else. I feel bad. I, I feel bad for a while. But I'm like, damn. I'm gonna go walk the dog real quick. I'm gonna do simmer down a little bit. See my thing. <laughs> simmer, simmer down. Yeah, I would never say that. To you. Pipe down, please. Pipe down. <laughs> Could you please bring it down a few levels? Uh, so my so my here's my thing. All right, like it catches me off guard. If you catch me at a weak moment, so like for me, I will lose an argument. I'll get pissed off. You catch me at a hangover, like I'm gonna get. Frustrated. I'm not yelling, bro. I'm, I'm like, I don't care like, enough. Bro, if you catch me, like, if I don't I'm, think I've ever raised my voice. If I'm tired, like, if, I, if you catch me tired or hungover, I'm like, bro, listen, you're pissing me off. Like, I'm trying mm. to relax right now. Like, you got to leave me alone. Yeah, yeah that, that would you, never work. Because, yeah, like, no, they, yeah. I feel like I would not recommend that. Because, 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 you, that it. but, like, here's the thing though, like, they catch you at your weakest moment. You know, you ever had a girl, like, catch you, like, they wait, like, they plot out and strategize, like, your weakest moment to get on you about an argument? That's what's going to hurt her more because I'm so I'm so fucking like like nonchalant mm. that I'm not going to care that much at all about any of this. Like, so if you're mad, you can be good mad at yourself at this point. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't care anymore. I'm like, sorry. It's hard to stay mad at somebody who's like not like not mad, mad with you. You know, like if I'm just cool, unless she's very <laughs> fucking mad. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be angry. yeah, you gotta be like I must have did you some don't fucked care. up shit. So what's yeah. the, what's the last thing she got mad at you for? Like Tonight. actually mad yeah. or some petty shit. Both you two examples because I, I don't even know because we really don't be arguing like 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 because it just doesn't work with me like yeah yeah I don't know I, that energy is just not I'm just gonna walk away from this I'm like, yeah I'm we gonna, gonna talk I'm not gonna argue with you I ain't got no time I'm for that. Gonna argue, <laughs> yeah. like we ain't not gonna like, argue if you like, wanna yell that's cool I'm putting on headphones <laughs> and I just I'm so non problematic <laughs> I think I think like, whatever you wanna do that's we'll do that I know Christiana and I I didn't say well not dating her but like you know just living together Christiana and I used to argue over dishes a lot it's like. Mm-hmm. I mean, for me, it's like, as a dude, like, yeah, I mean, I'm going to wash out the pan and, and cook it. And when I'm done with it, I'm going to put it back. And when I'm ready, hungry, eat again, I'll wash that same pan. <laughs> that bitch is going to live in the sink. And it's going to be there until I'm ready to use it again. You know what I mean? Oh, no. I don't no, do that. No, no. <laughs> dishwasher. Can't, can't, dishwasher can't, can't, or pretty, somewhere else. Yeah. Just put, you can't have it in the sink looking at you. Nah, you can't have it in the sink. It just seems unfinished. Nah, bro. This is cool. Just put it, we, just, we, just put it away. We just try to put it away. Well, it's dirty. We alternate. So, like, if she makes dinner, I'll. Clean the dishes. That's if I make dinner, she'll clean the dishes. See, like, that's what. That's what we. Bro, if we both made dinner, we both clean the dishes. Bro, I'll go out of my way just to make sure I'm the first one to cook every single time. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I've been. I'll go day. fuck, bro. That's hey, what I've been hey, bro. Hey, I'm cooking up a storm in this bitch. <laughs> hey, bro, I cooked cook about three, four times. Like, <laughs> so yeah. god, bro. I'll be part of the way to plot. Bro. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make sure. I, if this is the rules, I'm gonna abuse that shit. <laughs> well, it sucks because I, like I have to close a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, she be beating so, so she'll fresh. make food and it'll, it'll just be nah, dishes. Bro, I'll have that I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, care about that because, like, I fucking love cleaning, so like, I wouldn't care about okay. that. Like, I put my music in. It's not. Yeah, nah, bro. Like, we got the, like most cleaning. of them on a dishwasher. Nah, yeah, bro. Exactly. If, I, if I leave the crib, if I have to leave the crib, be at work by 10 o'clock, I swear to God, there's shit in a crock pot by 9 30. That shit be done by the end of the day. before you leave work. Exactly. That's fraud, bro. That's I'm actually a cheat code. That's though. a cheat code. I ain't thought about the crock pot. Bro, you get the crock pot going way too yeah. long. We can make like some. Listen, man, we gonna eat this stew. Bro, you gonna have yeah, this stew? <laughs> everything. Some in chicken here. noodle, chicken noodle stew, bro, with some, like uh, some dumplings on the top, bro. Like, you take it's some biscuits, always bro. dumplings, bro. That sounds fine. Uh, mom, bro, my mom. I never, I, never had, I never had. I never had dumplings more in my life. My mom got a fucking crock pot, bro. It was dumplings. <laughs> it was dumplings like eight times a month for no reason. I don't think I ever had dumplings. Dumplings are it's just fucking. I hate I mean, them now. I love them. It's just dough. It's just dough. Do it it. I hate it now. Don't God damn. All right, man. This, is, this has been a long ass episode. <laughs> three hours. It's dinner. Three hours. If you, if man, you made so it, we kept I'm you. Sorry. Guys. You gotta. You gotta <laughs> I feel like I kept y'all. Shit. No, we just no, talking, bro. If you made this far, we really fuck with you. Thank you. Like you said earlier in the podcast, before the podcast started, make sure you get the merch. Follow us on all our socials. Yeah. Thank you for following. We'll tag, we'll tag JT. Definitely yeah. follow him too on everything he got going on. Check out his check out his uh, EP he came out with. Yes, the please Bay. check it out. Um, it's a concept tape um, about the about limbo. It's about it's the introduction to limbo, which is the in between place. Um, and you'll find more out about that on the album or or not because it's called Vague. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely check it out, man. Yeah. It's, it's dope. Much love though. Peace. Well, that one, y'all. We'll catch you in the next one. Yeah. <laughs> That's mature. I think my girl just takes me.